Yeah. You've got mail. Howdy. Hello everybody, we are live, welcome, 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 I hope you are all doing well, hope you're all having a good day, evening, morning, and night, wherever, whenever in the world you are, I'm the mailman, you may also call me mail, and your delivery has arrived, hello, 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 are we doing something a little different, no video game tonight, maybe, we'll see, we'll see how long this stream goes anyway, um, but we're doing a, um, Can we get much higher? So high! The One Piece is indeed real. Spoilers for anime, fuck. Well, you watched it, so don't worry. It's not even a spoil- So the thing is, Dearly Goat, even though so much of it is, like, a, Like, it's technically a spoiler, it was such a big meme, so, like, I guess most people who are getting into One Piece don't consider it a spoiler. Because it's also not really a spoiler, really. Um, you know what's cool about it, though, Dearly Goat? So you would have seen the scene, uh, uh before that, uh, in Sabodi where, um, where Luffy's talking to Silver's Rayleigh, the former, like, second-in-command of the uh, Gold D. Roger Pirates, and he's like, do you want me to tell you if the One Piece is real, bro? And Usopp's like, yeah, bro, let's see if it's real, and, and fucking Luffy snaps, and he's like, shut the fuck up, Luffy, shut the fuck up, Usopp, I don't want to fucking hear nothing about that, you do not tell me if the One Piece is real or not, I want to know. And so what's really cool about that scene where Whitebeard screams out to all the marines and all the pirates that the One Piece is real is this is all this is after a certain someone has died, right? And so Luffy is unconscious. Luffy is unconscious. So what's awesome about this scene is Luffy does not hear if the One Piece is real or not. He still has he still has that like uh you know innocence. He he just wants to go on the adventure. But everybody else in the whole world like knows it's real because Whitebeard yelled it out to them. But but Luffy though he still doesn't know. And I love that. I love that little attention to detail where it's like no Luffy Luffy doesn't want to know. Um, no, I just haven't seen the, the anime bit, uh, lol, only radio, yeah, yeah, yeah. The One Piece, uh, as real as the cake in Portal, oh god. Yeah, and Luffy loses his shit, yeah, 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 against Usopp, it's pretty funny. Anyway, what was I saying? I, I got on a One Piece tangent. This is not a, uh, stream about One Piece or anime. Um, I mean, tangentially, maybe it could be related in some ways. But no, today we are doing a, uh, a very rare, very fancy just chatting stream where we will be ranking in our tier list 
your favorite video games. Whoa, yeah, yippee, yeah, 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 yeah. And by your favorite video games, I mean whoever comes into the stream and offers a video game for me to rank. But I will also be ranking my own favorite video games. Do not fret, I will be, I will be leading the charge in my own, um, either really based, really bad, or really dumb opinions. Um, so get ready for that. I don't think I have hot takes. If anything, I have, like, the cliche, generic, like, um, I'm a Redditor, and I have very, uh, intellectual taste, and my favorite video games are actually the peak of, uh, fiction. <laughs> like, you know. Ratchet and Clank 3, up your arsenal. So that's basically an S rank, just for the name alone. Dilly God, everyone knows this. The original Pokemon games. Oh yeah, guys. Okay, 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 okay. We're already getting into some, uh, some recommendations. Wonderful, wonderful. That's good. I'll keep them, uh, I'll keep them in mind. Um, did we all freak about the New Vegas 2 leak that supposedly has happened yesterday? Well, you know he words when that, when we did that. Yeah, we literally, like, ha like, it was at the start of the stream. Because Cookie told about, it. Uh, Cookie informed me about it on the, on the Discord first. Um, also, uh, I posted it into my, my Discord server as well, and all my friends, including Dilly Go, were like, mm, this seems sus, this seems fake, not real. But yeah, we were literally, like, hyping about it for, like, the first 30 minutes of my stream yesterday. Um, because we were discussing, like, how legit it could be, or, like, like, you know, how cool it is that Obsidian is doing it. Fakest thing I've ever seen, I can't wait for Dilly Go to eat his words on it, like, it's, it's real. Like, I'm excited, I'm excited for it to be real, so it, it's funny when the, all the haters say it, it wasn't. It wasn't real. Um, it's as real as the goddamn One Piece. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, we're very excited. The main thing that's exciting is that Obsidian's working on it and not a Bethesda, because fuck Bethesda, all my homies hate Bethesda. Uh, that'd be me, yeah. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll, fingers crossed, we'll see. The rest of the list makes sense, though. Like, New Vegas is kind of like the big crazy thing, but everything else on the list seems like somewhat legit that they would bring up and talk about. Like, there's no crazy reveals. New Vegas 2 is the craziest reveal there. Um, but anyway, okay, so yeah, we're, we're going to do anime, and hopefully this works. I'm hoping that I'm not showing anything, nothing's, like, broken. Oh, I might need to move chat. Um, no, you know, I don't need to move chat. I can just, like, I can just, like, zoom out, maybe? There we go. I can just zoom out, right? Oh, God, I don't want to do that. Oh, God, I can't move the canvas. I can only move the image. That's not helpful. That's fine. It's going to be... Uh, um, I can move the chat, like, for now, but then... Meh, uh, mm, uh, I'll move chat up here for now, but I need to remember to move it back, because, like, it affects all my scenes. Also, I'm just really tiny. I just realized I'm very tiny on this one. I don't like it. I don't like that I'm tiny. There we go. I am no longer tiny, I think. I think I am the regular size that I usually am. Very good. Um, confidential documents don't usually have confidential watermarked over the top of them. Hmm, interesting, interesting. Also, Scaleband was on there, which was completely cancelled. Hmm, interesting, interesting. All my favourite games are S tier, and I will not hear any slander. Uh-huh, uh-huh, sure thing, Wes, sure thing. Um, so yeah, we're gonna start off with the one, the, the GOAT. That's why he's the GOAT. Um, obviously no one in my chat should disprove, should, like, disagree with this. Um, and if you do, you're, you're insane. Um, so this is going to be, like, how we start, how, this is going to be the game that we, like, compare to everything else, right? We, we are putting this safely in S tier, like, there is no, like, this is, like, this is the, 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 um, Rosetta Stone that we base all video games off, right? This game right here, right? Like, no one's going to disagree that Fallout New Vegas deserves to be an S tier. I will not hear that it is a buggy mess using a shit engine and that it is 10 day, 10 years old. I will not hear any of that. I will not hear any of it. Um, say to decay, slander is, is, is in this economy? I'm actually the goat. Sorry, you are a literal goat. Correct. Bro, goat simulator? Is goat simulator an S tier game? No, that game's like a, like a B. A B at best. This is lucky I don't even put in a C. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so that's gonna be the start, that's gonna be the first game I'm putting down, safely in S tier, is for Lanny Vegas. Um, and then we'll go... I guess we'll do Ratchet and Clank 3? I don't know if Dilly Go was trolling or not. So I don't have any strong opinions on Ratchet and Clank, uh, any of them. So maybe someone, and maybe other people in chat, please tell me your thoughts on Ratchet and Clank 3. Up your arsenal. Um, do you agree with Dilly Goat? Like, where, where, where do you think it should be, Dilly Goat? Like, well, you mentioned it as a reference, but where would you put it? Easily S tier. 
Has uh, Wurtz or Doc ever played a Ratchet and Clink 3 up your arsenal? Where's Chuck Daniels when you need him? Maybe I should at Chuck Daniels. Gaming. Um, Chuck Daniels is a friend of the, uh, friend of the family. No, no, friend of the channel for anyone who doesn't know. Um, would you rank... Um, no, 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 no. Would you rank... Ratchet and Clank... Uh... 3 and S tier. There we go. Also join my stream. <laughs> also join my stream. <laughs> there you go. That's how you get more viewers in. You just berate your friends until they they do what you tell them. Um, I never played them, so I have no opinions. Ration and Clank, I mean. Yeah, I'm the, I'm the same, dog. I'm the same. Do not worry. Well, Dillygoat is saying S tier, and I've not played it. So you know what? I'm going to put it in A tier to like balance that out. I think, that's, I think that's a very fair compromise. I think that is objectively a fair compromise. I'm not hurting anyone's feelings by, like, saying, well, I've never played this game, actually, so it's going in F tier for, uh, for fuck's sake, I don't even know what this game <laughs> is. Uh, no, 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 I'm happy to put it in A. Also, I don't like that all these images are going to be different sizes, but that's okay. Okay, we're getting, uh, Ratchet 3 is an A. Okay, Chuck Daniels has come into the stream just as I, I predicted. What the heck? I literally was, I was, I was joking. I didn't expect you to literally show up, but, um... I'm glad. I'm glad. Chuck Daniels actually thinks it's a. It's an A tier. That's epic. That's very, very epic. Okay. Um. Um. Don't worry, Cookie. We will get to absolutely every uh game that is recommended. Uh, I am doing one at a time. I will also be discussing ones that I do know or that I have played. The original Pokemon game. So, Doc, I'm assuming you mean Red and Blue, and not Fire Red Leaf Green, obviously. So we will grab Pokemon Red and Blue. Dun, 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 dun. Pokemon Red and Blue. Ratchet 1 and 2 would be an S. Ah, I see. Chuck Daniels has his uh has his uh, ho uh hopes in uh the, the first two Ratchet and Clanks. Again, I've never really played a Ratchet and Clank, so I don't really I don't really know. I don't I don't particularly care. Um I I mean I like I don't have strong feelings towards them. I think they're okay games, but they're not like personal favourites of mine. Um, red, blue, and yellow. Le uh, Legend of Dragoon. Okay, okay. So here's the thing that I would I would argue, uh, Doc, is that I think Pokemon Yellow is the objectively better game than Red and Blue because it was it, it was the first Game Boy Color Pokemon game as well. So Yellow is better than Red and Blue. Like you you have to rank Yellow higher than Red and Blue. You also get all the original starters in Yellow as well. You get Squirtle, Charmander, and Bulbasaur, and and Pikachu. You get all of them. So I think it's un I think it's technically unfair. Do you know what I mean? Because yellow is just a better experience. Whee! Whoa! Holy crap! Oh my god! Um, yeah, thank you so much for the raid, know? Water Lily T uh, TV. Me. Thank you so much. Holy crap! Welcome, 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 everybody. I'm the mailman, and I hope you're all having a good day, evening, morning, and night, wherever, whenever the world you are. We're currently doing a just chatting stream. We are ranking and debating uh, everybody's favorite video games. Um, water. Oh my god! Speaking about uh, speaking about water. I have a hydration from Temporal. Thank you so much. Water Lily TV. Um, there we go. There you go. Shout out. Wonderful, wonderful. Um, thank you so much for the raid. Hell yeah. Welcome, welcome, everybody. I hope you enjoy your time here. There's a very chill and relaxing stream. Do not worry. Um, okay, okay. Oh, fine, mailman. <laughs> hey, that's me screaming. Oh, yeah. That is not you, Dilligo. You are not Charlie. You're not a Florida man. Um, you welcome all raiders, welcome raiders, yes, 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 welcome, 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 I hope you're doing well. Um, and we will have our hydration redeem. <clears throat> You've got mail. <clears throat> and thank you so much for the follow, water. Welcome to the, welcome to the family, son. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining the, the male empire, I like to call it. I don't know why we're an empire. We're more of a postal and delivery Daddy. service. But thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It means a lot. 280 followers. Oh my god. Absolutely amazing. Um, But yeah, I hope you enjoy your time here. Thank you so much for the raid and the follow. Yay. Um, Mail, I went to the dentist today. Do I get a discount on making you sing karaoke? No, because Temple... See, okay. 
This is the thing I don't like about you little naughty boys and girls, is you always try to twist my point redeems ever so slightly. Ever so slightly. It's like, you know, I'm being very respectful, I'm being very honest and upfront, I'm saying, here's 10,000 point redeem and you can make me read any copy pasta you want. And then you go, well, mailman, I'm going to spend $10,000 for you to read a copy pasta, but I'm actually going to make you sing it using a karaoke track. And it's like, well, no, Temporal, now you've twisted what I what I did as the redeem. I said I could read a copy pasta. I didn't say I would sing a song for you. You can't make me sing a song when it's supposed to be a copy pasta. Okay, naughty, naughty, tisk tisk. Um, nice, I can mine the pond. Oh, hell yeah, nice, nah, pond. We gotta install a pond into, um, our, our post office, maybe. An in in indoor water, water system of some sort. <laughs> um, I never did that. Yeah, you're right, Cookie, you, you did the clean read. It was very good. That was a very fun one, the marine one. But I was alone, had no anxiety meds, I didn't have a needle, then had two fillings. No, temporal, that sounds really bad. Well, I, I hopefully, it, at the end of it, it was okay, and you're getting better. So then the rap voice should double as sing song. No, the rap voice is not me singing a song. The rap voice is me going, yo, yo, check it, what's up? We're doing a Photoshop today and I can't rhyme. I can't do a bop. And so we're looking at the games and this is kind of lame because I can't rap. I don't got no rap for rap. <laughs> the only word I can rhyme with rap is a really bad word that I should not say. I, that's... <laughs> Okay, there we go. And I do that for five minutes, and it's horrible, and it's the worst, it's the most cringe-inducing thing you can imagine, so, yeah. Um, oi, you should totally do a redeem to read fanfiction, at least, at, like, 15k. Okay, dilly go, but, like, what, like, mailman fanfiction, or fanfiction of, like, anime? Red and blue work, all good doc, sorry, we'll get, we'll get to it. Um, redeem both rap mode and copy pasta together. Ooh, that means Temporal needs to save up a lot more points. Rap and read a copy pasta together would be the Uwu song, since that's technically a rap. Temporal, if you saved up enough points to do both at the same time, then I would allow it, because technically I can, I can, I can see it, okay? Trap. Trap? Oh, trap and crap. I was thinking of uh, the word that starts with F, and, you know, okay, anyway. Jesus Christ, please stop, I'm so sorry, words. Um, map? Oh, all oh, oh, the spice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, anyway. Uh, we're going to do Pokemon Red and Blue. I think these are S-tier games, personally. I do think... Okay, actually... Mm, uh, I'm going to put them in A-tier. I'm going to put them in A-tier, but... Only because I think Gen 2 is slightly better. Gen 2 is slightly better. And I don't think anyone here is going to disagree with that. I think most people here who have played it, like, old school... I mean, oh, even, like, Hard Gold and Soul Silver, right? The remakes. It, like, they would probably say that, you know, Gen 2 is slightly better. Uh, Gen 1 Pokemon games suck. I disagree with Chuck Daniels. Gen 2 is peak. I, while while I disagree... Okay. I do think Gen 2 is better, but I don't think they're magically... I don't think Gen 1 sucks. Do you know what I mean? I don't think Gen 1 sucks. I just think Gen 2 is better. I think it's fair to say Gen 1 can deserves to be an A. For the mere fact that it created, like, a new genre. And it defined, you know... it def Pokemon is, like, one of the most successful things in the entire world. You know? One of the most successful franchises. Uh, snap, strap, nap, tap. Gen 1 Pokemon, uh, Gen 2 is peak. Yeah, Gen 2 is the superior Pokemon gen. Yeah, it is better, but like, but that doesn't make one, like, horrible. Do you know what I mean? I watched someone do a tier ranking of all Pokemon games, and they put red and blue in F tier because objectively every single Pokemon game has been an improvement on Gen 1, so therefore it has to be at the bottom. Okay, so that makes logical sense. Temporal, if we were doing a Pokemon tier list, we are doing a video games of all time tier list, and I think the legacy of Pokemon Gen 1, red and blue, um, is just that important to like the rest of all video games ever. Gen 1 is A compared to every other RPG, to be fair. There you go, Chuck Daniels. Exactly. Look on look on the positives. Oh, yeah. I'm just stating what I saw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Breath of the Wild. Okay, okay. We're one at a time. One at a time. We're getting in more... <laughs> um, getting in more games than I can than I can catch up. Um, Okay, so Ratchet and Clank 3. There's the Pokemons. Um, okay, we got State of Decay by Dilly Goat as well. State of Decay... I, I, I think State of Decay is really good. I don't think it's like an A, though. I think it's a very good game, but I don't I don't have strong feelings towards it. Um, I think I'm gonna put in B because I don't think it's like a genre defining. I don't think it's like 
masterfully well made. I don't think like it has it holds like a legacy. I don't I don't know. I don't know. Maybe maybe I could be convinced to to S for say to the cat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I would have to have I would have to see some other people in chat agree with Dilly Goat and, and try to argue that I need to bump up Zeta to decay. Um ba, 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 ba. Um How dare S for Seda So so Doc, do you disagree? Do you think that Say to Decay should be a bit higher? I could bump it up to A tier. I could bump it up to A tier. Hmm. Like, even with Ratchet and Clank, I'm like, now Ratchet and Clank maybe should be a B tier, you know? Now I'm thinking, like, maybe Ratchet and Clank should be down here. You know what I'm saying? And then th th this is more accurate to to what I think. But The Last of Us? Ooh, ooh that's going to be a spicy one. <laughs> um, uh, uh, Set Decay is what I call my farts. Jesus. Okay, well, Doc does not like Say Decay. Um... I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna move Ratchet and Clank down to B tier as well, actually. I, I do think it's really good, but, like, apparently, Last of Us is F tier. Shut up, Chuck Daniels. Uh, the Last of Us is going to be contentious. Oh, boy, is Last of Us gonna be contentious, because I have uh, opinions on that game, and good opinions, but also bad opinions. Um, so, yeah, um, I don't think many people want to fight State of K and Ration of Clank. Like, they're good. I think they're good, fun games. Like, there's nothing wrong. These aren't bad games. You are not you are not wasting your money if you buy these games. And, and most people enjoy these games. But I don't think they're, like, you know... I don't think they're above the crop. I think they are, like, a... Like, if the, if one of these games came out today, they're good, right? Well, I mean, State of K is, like, far more modern. But you, you get what I mean? Um... Everyone either hates or loves it. No in between. So true. Minecraft, surely. Okay, okay, wonderful. I'm I'm going to like lose track of keeping up with uh, all these game recommendations. Um. Da 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 da. So, okay, there we go. Okay, so now we're getting to Cookies Odd World Abe's Odyssey. Ooh, ooh. I'm tempted to put this in A. I'm tempted to put this in A. I do like I do like Abe's Odyssey. Um, on the PS One, this is a very good game. I remember loving this game as a kid. Uh. I don't think I would push it for an S tier. I don't think I would push it for an S tier, but I do think Abe is awesome. Abe is... Oh, God, what did I do? Uh, Control Z. No, no, no. What did I do? I did something. I did... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God, what did I do? I, I did some weird Photoshop thing. I don't know what I did. I don't... I'm not good at Photoshop, believe it or not. Okay, you know what? Now there's numbers up the top. It's fine. We can pretend those numbers aren't there. I accidentally did some shortcut that, like, put numbers at the top. Okay, I'm gonna put Abe's Odyssey at uh, A A for the time being, and then we'll quickly see if anyone uh, has strong disagreements. So yeah, Minecraft, we'll get to that. Abe's Odyssey and Abe's uh, Exodus are good 2D games, but maybe that's just my nostalgia speaking. I think they are really good. I think they are good. Croc? What do you mean by Croc Temporal? What is Croc? What is Croc? What do you mean by Croc? Croc? Is Croc a video game? I don't think Croc is a video game. You don't know Croc? Is Croc a video game I've never heard of before? What is this? Croc video game. Um, we're kind of jumping. Yeah, old ass game. What the heck? Oh my god, what is this? What is this nonsense? This looks like a horrible, like, this looks like, um, what's that lizard one? Gex. This just looks like Gex. Am I wrong? This just looks like a Gex kind of thing. It's great. The art and design were amazing for the original two games. For Abe's Odyssey? Yeah, absolutely, Cookie. I do agree with you. I do 100% agree with you. S tier for Croc? I don't know what this is, guys. You know what? Just to be safe, I'm going to put Croc in C tier because Croc starts with the letter C. That's what I'm going to do. There you go. Boop. Um, PS1 game that was amazing apparently has ties to Miyamoto, but not really. Oh, okay. Fun fact. Croc began development as a Yoshi game before Nef Nintendo said no. I have a little more appreciation for it now. I'm going to put it in in a, in a B. I was going to be really harsh on it and put it in a C, but you know what? The Dark Souls of PS1 platformers. Sheesh! Oh, it's S tier then, right? Surely. Um, no, no, no. I think it's okay. I think it's safe to to put it in um, in a B. There you go. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Um, so I kind of skipped that. I didn't mean to skip that, but I didn't know... Uh, like, I didn't know Croc was a game. Um... <clears throat> Ba 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 Um Okay, Legend of Dragoon, which I don't think I've played myself. I've not played Legend Um of Dragoon. Um What was the next one after this? So I know where I need to scroll up to. Um 
I think the next one was... Bro, okay, it was a dilly goat up there. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we're doing... Uh, now is Legend of Dragoon. I've never played Legend of Dragoon. I've heard of it. I've seen... I've seen Legend of Dragoon. But I don't know much about Legend of uh, Dragoon. Um, it's just like... It's a good RPG, right? It's a good turn-based... It's a JRPG, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very Japanese. Dragoon. Hilarious. <laughs> dilly goat. So funny. Um... The Miyamoto thing is that the devs of Croc say that Miyamoto complimented them, but no one believes them or something. Ah. Okay, Ninja Garden. Every PS1 platform is a Dark Souls a PS1 platformer. The main theme is a Bob. Ooh, let's listen to this. Luffy's ad. So funny. So funny. Um, It's like Final Fantasy, but way better. Ooh. I believe it, but that's a hot take word. There's a lot of Final Fantasy that a lot of people like. There we go. I'll let this play. I like Cro I'll let Croc play. Um, okay, so yeah. We'll do Legend of Dragoon. Bro, I feel like most things are going to end up as B now, because it's like, I've heard of this, and I think people say that it's good, kind of thing, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, here we go. Unless I have a very strong feeling on it, like I've played it, like Pokemon Red and Blue, or Abe's Odyssey, you know, unless I have stronger feelings. B is just like, yeah, it's good, right, guys? We all like those games, yes? <laughs> um, so there we go, Legend of Dragoon. Um... All RPGs are AF. Shut up, Chuck Daniels. <laughs> you get you get some good opinions occasionally, but definitely not um, not in this case. Oh God, Cookie Cookie is pumping out all the recommendations. I gotta be I gotta get a little faster. I gotta little keep on going. Okay, this one might be a little contentious. Uh, Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild. Uh, I've not played this game, so I'm technically not allowed to state my opinions on this video game, right? That's how it works. Let me turn this music down a little bit. That's that's how this goes. Is you're not allowed to say your opinion if um you've not played the video game. But um, if if I had played this video game, I'd probably put it in like a, a, a D tier. So you know, just saying. Breath of the Wild is a solid B, says Chuck Daniels. Oh, okay. Personally, I don't like the mix up in in like the the, the Zelda format because I have played Ocarina and I have played Majora's because I had an N64 and I played those games and those games are really good. So, I don't like, but I never played like Wind Waker or like, what's that other one? What was the Wii, the Wii one? Chuck Daniels, what was the Nintendo Wii Legend of Zelda game? I don't just be like, which one, Liam? I mean the one with the Wii remote that you had to like do sword slashes. Don't, Twilight Princess, that's the one. Thank you, Temporal. That's the one. Um, Solid B. I think River of the Wild is a good game, but not a good Zelda game. Um, Skyward Sword? I think Twilight Princess is the one I was thinking about, but maybe it was Skyward Sword. I... It's Twilight Princess versus Skyward Sword, two Skyward Swords, so I think these are all correct, and I have two video, different video games in my head, because all the Zelda games kind of start merging into my brain at some point, <laughs> um, that aren't Ocarina or Majora. Twilight was GameCube, wasn't it? Oh, okay. Like, Breath of the Wild feels like they were trying to make a new IP, but, uh, even though, e even, even though, e but then thought, no, this won't sell. Slap link on it. Ah, I see, I see. Okay, so yeah, Breath of the Wild. Um, I feel like this kind of like revived Zelda in a way. Like I feel like, were there like many big Zelda games that had like broke mainstream like th a few years before this one? It didn't feel like it, right? That's kind of like like I don't like okay. I'm happy to put this in B tier because if, if, if someone says like Ocarina or Majora's, I would put those in A, right? I would even maybe put Ocarina in S. I know, crazy, right? I don't, I don't even like it that much, but like I, I can have a strong enough appreciation for Ocarina of Time that I would be, ha I would be inclined to put it in S tier. So Breath of the Wild, I'm happy to put in B tier just because I know there is better Zelda games than this one. Um... Breath of the Wild would be S if it didn't have weapon durability and Ubisoft towers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good point. Good point. Uh, Twilight was both GameCube and Wii that had flipped maps since this is uh, since Link, Link is left-handed in the GameCube version and right-handed in the Wii. Oh, that's only because of the Wii U. Okay, Majora's Mask is S tier. Yeah, exactly. Crazy Ocarina is one of the very few games ranked ten out of ten consistently. Lamau. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Dilly really good. Um, I. Is it a hot take to say I prefer Majora? I feel like a lot of people say that they don't like Majora as much as Ocarina, but I actually like Majora's Mask more. Is that weird to say, guys? Is that a weird opinion? Now, maybe this is just nostalgia. No, a lot of people prefer Majora's. Okay. Because, like, um, 
Yeah, maybe just, it's nostalgia. Like, I'd have to go back and play them. Not hot take. Me. Oot. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, sorry. M- 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 Majora is greater than Ocarina. Okay, yeah. Sorry, I, di- I didn't me greater than Oot. I was like, what What does that mean? What is... <laughs> Majora is greater than Ocarina is the, is the coldest take possible. Okay. Personally, I hate Majora's Mask. Okay, Chuck Daniels. Well... I'm glad to know that you dislike Majora's, but you but you like Ocarina, and that most people prefer Majora's. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Um, okay, so yeah, I'm happy to keep Breath of the Wild in B, because for me, it would be Ocarina in A and, and Majora's in S, okay? That's how I would do it. Um... Okay, um... Uh, the Last of Us. Okay, Cookie said The Last of Us. Uh, this is gonna be very bad. This is gonna... Ooh, boy. Okay, okay, okay. And we're only gonna do The Last of Us 1. If anyone even dares speaker for Thy Last of Us 2, I will be very upset. Do not even bring The Last of Us 2 to the table. It is a different conversation. It is a different argument. I do not want to hear it. I do not want to hear it, guys. I do not want to hear it, and I do. By the way, I really want to replay this on um on PC, but like I hear the P, uh the Steam port is like actually trash. It's like so bad. It's so bad. Anyway, guys, uh, this is going um hmm. Where should I put it? Where should I put it? How do I feel about this game? Hmm 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 hmm. I feel like no one's gonna argue if I I just slot it right up here, right up there. I feel like no one's gonna. No one's gonna be that upset if it. Yeah, there, there we go. I think that's. I think that's a good, good place. Yeah, yeah. I think. I think most people would like, would agree that it's a very good game and it deserves to be up there, right? Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I think we're good. I think we're good. Um, person hate Majora's Mask in classic Chuck Daniels fashion. I don't like the popular thing. Fair enough, Chuck Daniels. OG Psycho. Okay, cool, cool. B tier for Dragoon Blasphemous. Um. I've not played it, so I don't have I don't have a stronger opinion. If it like, ooh, okay, out of everything in the B tier, what well, uh, Dragoon and Breath of the Wild would be the mo- the mo- I'm most inclined to jump up to A tier. I would trade the entire Final Fantasy series for a load remake. A oh, Legend of Dragoon. I get you. I get you. I get you. Yep. Yep. One hundred percent. I would love to play like a modern Legend of Dragoon. Um, I'm glad that nobody had any strong feelings towards The Last of Us Two. So let's move on from it. <laughs> um, the Digimon World. Uh, so I believe Temporal played this one recently, and I don't know anything about it. So it's probably gonna go in the safe B tier. Um, oh, this is an old game. Wait, was there a remake? Or am I an idiot? No, is the new one next order? What is this? I thought this was like a recent game. I thought I thought this was a recent video game. Am I dumb, Temporal? Digimon World. Um, am, am I silly? Am I, am I silly? Um, one of the Digimon games has a Tekken character in it, so ST, of course. I'm surprised Direct News hasn't, uh, uh, recommended any fighting games. <laughs> um, uh, okay, okay, so, so, does this, yep, yeah, there we go. Uh, Digimon World, uh, uh, I don't know what, I, like, I don't know. I feel bad putting in a C tier, but, like, I don't know this at all, actually, so... I'm going to put it in a C tier, and unless a group of people come in and, and berate me and, and demand that I put Digimon Worlds on the PS1 in a higher tier. I don't know. Okay, Minecraft, that's a very good base recommendation, Dilly Goat. Minecraft is, like, the one of the... Like, like okay, like, I have stronger feelings towards, say, Fallout New Vegas, personally, but, like, would anyone really... Like, okay... Would anyone really disagree with me if I, like, put it, like, ab- okay, I can't. I can't go a- above the image. But do you know what I mean? Like, would anyone disagree with me if I put this in S+. plus? Like, Minecraft is just just different. Minecraft just hits different. Like, if, like, you know what I mean? It's, like, one of the most influential video games of our modern era. <laughs> like, it's crazy. <laughs> so, S uh, S tier, because I can't put it higher than that. Um... Da, 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 da. Okay, and then and then the next one is Ninja Garden Black from Cookie. Let's uh we catch up to chat though. Um Okay, Kotor, wonderful recommendation. We'll get to that eventually. What? Don't worry, don't worry. 
Um, I was actually playing KOTOR yesterday. Wait, Chuck Daniels, I thought you hated KOTOR and I thought you hated RPGs. So, are you enjoying KOTOR? I'd like to know. Maybe add a tier underneath for games you haven't played. That would be good, Cookie, but my, my, I'm trying to get people to come in and give me re game recommendations. You know what I mean? Like, if someone, if, if a lot of people come here and are like, okay, like, guys, I'm about to reveal the mailman fact of the day that is going to get me shot at gunpoint. Shot at gunpoint? I mean, most people get shot at gunpoint instead of, you know, at knife point. No, but you, this is going to get me killed. Um, I've not played a Final Fantasy. I have not played a Final Fantasy 7. I have not played a Final Fantasy 15. I have not played a Final Fantasy 10. I have not played a Final Fantasy 14 MMORPG with the hit expansion, yada yada. Whatever that one is. So, I don't have strong feelings towards Final Fantasy, but I could definitely, you know... I could appreciate the fact that Final Fantasy VII is probably an S tier. Do you know what I mean? So I would put an FF7 in S tier, even though I've not played it. Heaven Sword, thank you, Diligo. That's that's the name of the expansion. Um, slap M Minecraft in D tier and let's move on. D for different, different, different. Correct. Interesting, but um, I vanished for a bit. Minecraft, yes, Minecraft is an S tier. I think that's just fair. I would argue about Digimon World, but I know that's something you love or hate. So I don't know anything about Digimon World, Temporal. I could be inclined to bump it, bump it up, but I've not heard of it. So to me, it's it's safely in the middle. Um, I played Ninja Gaiden one time and got lost uh, in the first level. Mail hasn't played most games. Okay, Chuck Daniels, screw you. I, I am... Hopefully I play more games while streaming, you know what I mean? You can be shot at knife point. Ballistic knives exist. Interesting words. Fair enough. I did not know that. That reminds me, a few years back, someone in the next town once was stabbed and killed. Jesus Christ. Okay, that took a sudden turn. to borrow. Apparently, he was being mugged at knife point, and he said to the mugger, What are you going to do? <laughs> Stab me? <laughs> wow. Hilarious. 15 was a buggy disaster. Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, I, I heard mixed things about uh, 15. Like, I heard some people really like it and some people don't like it. I've heard Ninja Gaiden is, like, awesome. Right? I Ninja Gaiden is, like, up there with, like, a game that I should really go play. <laughs> um, I don't know. Is Black the right one, Cookie? Is Ninja Gaiden... Yeah, Ninja Gaiden Black. That's the one that you said. Okay. Um, I'm going to put this in 8 tier. I know. Putting a game in, in 8 tier that I've not played myself. Yeah, well, that's... It looks awesome. I've seen, I've seen people play it. It looks fucking sick. <laughs> it looks epic. Um, hilarious but true. It was all over the news. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Stab me? What are you gonna do? Shoot me? Um, preferred FF eight to FF seven. I hear lots of people prefer FF six to FF seven as well. I hear six was like the like, uh, like absolutely amazing final like two D JRPG for Final Fantasy like to end end on because then they went to three D with seven. Um. I liked 15, but 16 looks like the dev of 14. Looks like the dev of 14 said, I see what you were doing, but let me do it better. Okay, is that a good thing? <laughs> uh, Gaiden is in the dark... Is is the Dark Souls of Dark Souls. I see, I see. I liked FF15, says Chuck Daniels. Hell, hell yeah. Mario RPG, okay. Okay, so I don't have any strong opinions on Mario RPG, but guys, oh boy, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring out a game. I'm gonna bring out a game that I loved as a child, and my nostalgia is gonna push it forward. My nostalgia is gonna push it forward, and I don't care what anyone says. I don't care a goddamn thing. Give me the original one, N64. There it is. There it is. There it is, baby. This, this was a masterpiece. Maybe this is what got me into RPGs. Maybe. Who knows? Paper Mario on the Nintendo 64. This is fucking hype. This is a beautiful game. This is amazing. I love it. I love Paper Mario. This was like, literally like my addiction as a kid. I, th I was like, this is, oh my god. I was obsessed with it. Um, uh, Mario RPG is easy, eh? Okay, okay. Paper Mario, Mario and Luigi. Super Mario RPG was made by Square Enix. Uh, when they were still known as Square, I think. A uh, Bahamut appeared. Ah, so I do know about the um the Bahamut thing because like me and Chuck Daniels have talked about it. I think. Um, correct, correct, correct. Very nice, very nice. Um, let me scroll up. Um, Ninja Garden Black. There it is. Donkey Kong Country Two. Now, I need to, like, search my memory banks and recall if I played a Donkey Kong Country 2. I think I did, yes. I think I did play the Donkey Kong Country 2. Um, it's okay. <laughs> it is okay. 
Like, it's good. It's fun. I don't really care too much. Like, I'm not super big into, like, the, the Nintendo IPs, I'll be honest. Like, the Mario and the Kirby. I don't really care about them that much, I'll be honest. They're just, they're not really my thing, I don't think. I don't know. I don't like platformers. Is it a hot take to say I don't like platformers? And I know Chuck Daniel's gonna, like, come in here and berate me, but it's like, platformers don't really have a story, you know? Platformers, I wish platformers had more of a story to them, I think. You know, and then maybe I'd like them a little more, you know? I'm just saying. Um, okay, okay, let's see what the next recommendation was. Um... Okay, did we go with the Sly Cooper? Cool, cool, cool. Um, da 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 da. Uh, there is no Bohemian in Super Mario RPG. You don't like any game that just isn't a movie. That's unfair. That's unfair. I've put Minecraft and Paper Mario in S tier. Screw you, Chuck Daniels, and Pokemon up there, and Abe's Odyssey. So you know what? Think about. Or oh, I guess Abe's Odyssey is like a puzzle platformer. Detroit become male. Cookie was making a joke, but now the joke has become the now the joke is is a very important serious joke. Ba -ba Bam. Bam. There we go, baby. Now this this is fire. This this is divine right there. Beautiful. Best Quantic Dream game. Um, but Heavy Rain is very good as well. But I do think Detroit Become Human is objectively the better game. So, yes. Okay, so it was uh, Sly Cooper from, from Dilly Goat was the next recommendation. I actually really like Sly Cooper. I do remember playing Sly Cooper and kind of being a fan of it. Um, no, give me the game. What's the game called? It's one. It's called Sly Cooper. Okay, why did it not pop up with the freaking game first? It popped up with the character. Um, and the, th the Thievus Raccoonus. Is that l l really the name of it? That's insane. That's crazy. Sly is awesome. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like Sly. I'm going to put this in um, uh, A tier, I think, actually. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. There we go. Cool. Um, Hell yeah. I like how it's like, like we have like uh, staples of a bygone era, and then I have fucking Detroit become human here, because like, fuck you. <laughs> um, my, my tastes are weird. Um, okay, and then Cookie said FF15, cool, cool, cool. Um, they don't make games like they used to. Whatever you say, Chuck Daniels, whatever you say, buddy. The original Rayman and Rayman 3, ooh, 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 very good, very good, very good, um, recommendations. Okay, um, FF15, uh, uh, where do I put this FF15 nonsense? Where do I put this? Where do I put this? How do I feel about FF15, man? Um, how do I feel about FF15? I don't think it's a bad game, necessarily. Rayman 1 is easy F, but 2 is S. Okay, check continues. Um. Hmm. I don't have any strong negative opinions on it, but I also don't have strong good opinions on it. Does that make sense? Like, I don't, I don't think it is a B. I don't think it is a B, but I also re respect the fact that a lot of people like it. So FF15 goes in C tier. I hope, I hope that is a valid compromise. Um, <clears throat> and then hell yeah, words with the Kotor. Nice, nice, nice. Um, Rayman One is easy. Yeah, people have a lot of strong opinions. I could link a video about 15. Is it the Super Eye Patch Wolf video cookie? Because like that's my main reason why I push it down into more of a negative. I did a Smash or Pass working on Gym Leader tier list earlier. 18 plus edition, of course. Very interesting. The Mailman should do at some point the uh the all all, all 800 whatever Pokemon Smash or Pass. That'd be pretty fun. But male, Super Eye Patch Wolf said FF15 is bad. Chuck Daniels, did we just say that at the same time? What the heck? Or what? <laughs> God damn it, man. Um, hey, can we all agree FF10 sucked a butt? Isn't that the really good one? That's the one that I kind of like a little bit because I know a little bit of it. Hey, Cookie says definitely. Um, am I, is, is, isn't 13 the really... FF10 would be good if it wasn't an RPG. Yeah, FF10 is the really good one. That is the really good one. Is it 13 is the one that I'm thinking of? 
No, not, yeah, no, definitely not 12. So it was the MMRP. Yeah, 13 is the one that sucks. 13 is really bad. Um, it sucked because of Blitzball. I do hear that. I do, I do hear people don't like Blitzball. Fuck Blitzball. All my homies hate Blitzball. Interesting, interesting, interesting. <laughs> Apparently a lot of people don't like Blitzball. I have heard of it. I didn't know it was like that well hated though. I'll be honest. Okay, KOTOR. KOTOR 1. Um, I mean, I'll be honest. Like KOTOR 1 and 2, I... I... Ooh, guys. So I have played 2 now. For the longest time, I hadn't played 2. Um, I actually... This is going to be crazy because I feel like not even Chuck Daniels expects this. I think one is an objectively more uh, is objectively like a better created game than two, which is weird to say because I, I like I reckon Chuck Daniels expects me to think two is better because that's what like the the normie like oh but it's but you know uh, what's her name Crayar is is morally gray and all this no you know morally whatever like oh it shows the Jedi is being evil but I think one is more of a cleaner game like there's less there's less nonsense. You've always liked one more than two. Yeah, yeah, but I've actually... But I look, I got around to playing two. And I think, you know, even though I like two, and I think two's really good, I think it's not as well made as one. Um. So, yeah, no, KOTOR 1. Like, absolutely amazing game. Like, like holy crap. Um, peak of Bioware, honestly. Like, um, obviously, they also did Mass Effect and Dragon Age. But... But it's goddamn Star Wars, man. KOTOR's just that good. Um, KOTOR, easy S tier. Easy S tier. Oop. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Um, uh, Darkest Dungeon. Ooh, okay, okay. Uh... Uh, Doc says TY, yes. Everybody does not like Blitzball. Shark Daniels is sleeping on, um, KOTOR, which is very sad. Okay, his name is, um... His name is Culex in the game, but the sprite looks awfully like FF Sprite. Oh, okay. I did, don't know what that's about. <laughs> uh, Darkest Dungeon and XCOM 2. Okay, okay, okay. Um... Ba -ba 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 -ba. That's KOTOR, and then... And then Mario RPG. There we go. Okay, so I I did bar I did Paper Mario instead of RPG, but I I don't have super strong thoughts against my Mario RPG. I I have like seen people play it, so like I do think it's like looks good and cool, but like I always preferred Paper Paper Mario. I think it's more awesome. Um. So yeah, we're gonna put this in B B. B. I hate that the N64 games are like so much longer. They're so much bigger than all the other ones for the images. I'm happy to put that in 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 B. B B seems good. B seems yeah. Um, and then Detroit. Cool, cool, cool. And then there we go. We actually caught up. Thank God we caught up, guys. We caught up. I'm so happy. I don't like Star Wars, but I love D&D, &D, and KOTOR is basically a D&D &D, D &D game set in the Star Wars universe. So yeah, here's the thing, like, it, there is an argument to be made that, like, the Star Wars main canonical storyline within the movies is, like, actually not really that good. The most interesting aspects of Star Wars is, like, the grander universe and, and lore, right? And so I feel like that's why KOTOR, like, uh, succeeds, because it, like, explores way more interesting things than the generic like one note story that is star wars and yeah it is literally the D, &D like third edition or whatever i did post a picture of the guy in discord oh discord 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 um da -da -da, da -da -da. um pictures and videos here we go oh this is uh, this is the guy yeah yeah from mario rpg yeah 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 coolio coolio um so yeah, we're caught up, which is awesome. We're caught up. We're caught up. Um, Super Mario RPG is one of the few RPGs, so I know, so I, I, uh, I like, so you know it's good. That almost makes me want to put it in A tier, buddy. Which actually I'm gonna do. There you go. I do like I do like Paper Mario more though. But there you go. Um, Super Mario RPG done. Um, okay, Darkest Dungeon. We're gonna do Darkest Dungeon one because I haven't played two, and I also don't necessarily have good opinions on two. 
There we go, Darkest Dungeon. I think Darkest Dungeon is an absolutely amazing game. I think it's fantastic. And I gotta play it more on stream, but I do- I am running Zorda polls, and no one wants to see me play Darkest Dungeon. It's not ever really been voted, so... Um... I don't think Darkest Dungeon is quite an S. Even though it is one of my favorite games, personally, I actually don't think it's an S. I think it's really good. My main issue with Darkest Dungeon, this is gonna sound crazy, I think it's too long. I think it's too long, actually. Um, it would be better if it wasn't as long. And then, of course, uh, XCOM 2. I think this is an amazing game. Um, some people try to say that the, uh, the XCOM... No, not the original, but Enemy Unknown, Enemy Within, or whatever. Um, that, like, that's a better game, but I disagree. I like XCOM 2 more. I think XCOM 2 is cooler. I don't know, that's just my opinion. Uh, Bubsy, GoldenEye, oh god, oh my lord. Two way, be way, way better. Yeah, I, I agree, Dilly. I agree, I agree. I 100% agree. Um, there's a lot of people that try to say that the first one is better. I mean, the first one's good. I've, I've played both. And I do think the first one is good, but like... And so, yeah, this is an S tier for me, because, like, it's the peak of that genre. Like, I guess Darkest... Du like, I think this is better than Darkest Dungeon, do you know what I mean? Like, I think XCOM is, like, the peak of the genre that is, like, having a squad that needs to do tactical, you know, turn-based gameplay, and then they get killed, and they die, and they're dead. Bubsy? Fuck Bubsy. Bubsy, you know, Bubsy's gonna be, like, the lowest rank. Fuck Bubsy. Here it is. Bubsy 3D. Fuck you. Why did they even make a new Bubsy? That, that shit's stupid. I don't like platformers, so I have strong opinions on platformers. I don't think they're necessarily good. Um, he's so bad, he doesn't even skip. He skips the D tier. There you go. He's so bad, he goes straight to E. Oh, there we go. I got rid of the numbers somehow. Crazy. Bubsy 3D is, a, is a, a legitimately the worst game I've ever played. <laughs> well, there you go then, Chuck Daniels. I'm glad we can agree on something. Um... And then GoldenEye, ooh, um, I'm almost tempted to put it into S tier, but it's been way too long since I've played it, so I'm probably just gonna safely put it in the A tier. Um, like, you have to remember, like, yeah, for, for the games that I have played on this list, I played them when I was, like, 6 to 8, so 6 to 10, on my Nintendo 64 at home, so, yeah, but I feel like most people would not bat an eye if I put this in A tier. There we go. Boop. Oh, sorry, can we make Doc's Dungeon a little higher? There we go. Cool, 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 cool. Um, put DBZ Budokai Tenkaichi 3 at S tier. You know what? I'm actually happy to do that. I'd f it's probably one of the better fighting games. I'd actually put it C tier for playability. Wait, really? Wait, really? Like, 007 is not that good? Oh. Uh, maybe B then. You know, maybe B then, if 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 the person who recommended it does not think it's that good. Um, I'm happy to, yeah. Um, I'm happy to put DBZ uh, Budokai Tentaichi 3 in A tier, Chuck Daniels. Okay? I'm happy to put it in A tier. I think that's a fair compromise. Only one joystick was a killer for any FPS shooter. Ah, I getcha, I getcha, yep. Here we go. Here we go. Also, Chuck Daniels, I just checked the messages then, and you told me to get into VC, and you'll help me, help me with my stream, uh, and that I big-leagued you, and that I didn't put your game in, in A. I put it in B. Um, okay. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. I'm, I'm going off the cuff. I'm going off the cuff and, and seeing what, um, seeing what, I don't know, seeing what people say in general, and also my own personal thoughts. Um, but this I'm happy to put in A, genuinely. I think this is actually really good. Um, I do believe I played this. I do believe I played this, like, a little, little bit as a child. Um, and I liked it, actually. I didn't like anything about Dragon I don't know anything about Dragon Ball, so I just enjoyed it for it looking like an anime thing. My brain didn't even know what an anime was back then, and I enjoyed looking at it. Um, if they uh, ever revamped it today, it'd be amazing again, though. Oh, ah, uh, 007, hell yeah. Fable, uh, so that's another thing I have to reveal. I've never played Fable. I never had, I never played Fable. I hear people like it though. It, it had that, it had the good and bad system, right? It, it basically was doing, you know, the, the Koto RPG kind of thing, right? Do people like, like Fable or not? I don't know. 
Um, Fable was only Xbox, to be fair. Ah, uh, that's definitely why I did not play it. <laughs> um, there we go. Fable being in a B tier, that's, that's alright. That's alright. There we go, I've caught up to all the recommendations, thankfully, so I can have a little bit of a break. I'm gonna have some water. Water, water, water. <laughs> Hmm. I'm very happy with the tier list so far. Yes, I'm quite happy. I'm quite happy. I don't think there's many disagreements here. It's mainly, like, it's funny that most people will argue, like, when, when a game is, like... Like, people try to argue A to S a lot more than they do, like, you know, C to B or, or even, like, the low tiers. We need to get more bad games, guys. Start recommending horrible shit games that nobody likes. Pretty please with a cherry on top. We need horrible games. <laughs> if you don't stop putting my stuff in anything, uh... Anything but bees tier, we're going to have issues. Oh, if you don't stop putting, if you don't stop putting, Superman sixty four, wonderful words. Have I put all the words? I swear I put some of yours in A. Yeah, I swear I've put some of yours in A. Come on, come on, come on. Don't if I don't stop. So, if I stop putting my, well, I don't know why my brain can't process this sentence. I'm really dumb words. Don't worry. Uh, Superman 64, wonderful, really bad game. You just fly through hoops and it looks like shit. No one in, like, literally no one in the whole world would argue that this is a good game. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Wonderful. Cool. Hell yes. Hell yes. I feel like I need to push more things from B to C. Final Fantasy VII is pretty bad. Yeah, kill yourself, Chuck Ten. That was very violent. That was very aggressive. I'm not falling for that troll, though. You are a silly fellow. That is that is dumb. I'm not falling for that. Um, S tier? FF7 can be... I'm gonna... You know what, Chuck Daniels? Just for that, I'm gonna put FF7 in A tier right next to your DBZ. How does that make you feel, buddy? How does it make you feel that I'm putting FF7 in the same tier as your, your most favorite... Uh, DBZ fighting game, hmm? There we go, FF7, Control V, Control T, make it smaller. There you go, buddy, there you go. They deserve to be right there next to each other because they're both equally good for different reasons. Wonderful, look, look at that. Oh, that, isn't that wholesome? Actually, wait, let me even, like, zoom in. There you go, buddy, look, look. Look, they're best of pals, right? Goku and, and Cloud, they're BFFs, man. I reckon Cloud could beat Goku, bro. I think Cloud could be Goku, hands down. Cloud is way stronger than Goku. Don't we all agree, guys? <laughs> um, agreed. Beggars can't be choosers. The Elder Scrolls series. Ooh, okay. Do we want to do Skyrim? I'll do Skyrim. Then after that, the rest of the Fallout games. Oh, God. Individual Fallout games. I'm going to do Skyrim. I'm going to do Skyrim. Yeah. There we go. Skyrim. Now... This is going to be a hot take, maybe, because I often, like, hmm, Skyrim is S. So, yeah, so believe it or not, Chuck Daniels, I agree. You would think I wouldn't agree, but I actually do agree. I do think New Vegas is better. I do think New Vegas is a better video game. Also, okay. I have realized that Detroit does not deserve to be an A. It does not deserve to be an S. As much as I love Detroit, I don't think it deserves to be an S. So there we go. Um, move these boys up. Um, yeah, I do think Skyrim deserves to be an S tier. I, I, New Vegas is objectively a much better game, but, but like, I, I, Skyrim is good for different reasons. Skyrim B tops. It's not even the best Elder Scrolls game. It has words screaming. Yeah, but it was so popular to the mainstream audience of, of like people that weren't gamers originally. Skyrim haters just don't understand what a fun video game is. I think it's open world is very good. I don't I don't like it for any of the reasons that I like Fallout New Vegas for, right? I don't think Skyrim is a good story. It's a good RPG. It has good combat. Like none of that. It doesn't have any of that. It's a good open world with like Morrowind is greater than Skyrim. I've not played Morrowind because I'm not, like, old. I, and I don't know if I should play Morrowind on stream. 
That would be a fun stream, maybe, but... Skyrim is greater than every other Bethesda game. <sighs> hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. I think it's technically true, but it doesn't make me feel good. Morrowind sucks because of the combat system, etc. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, okay, but you know what, guys? Just to make you guys feel better, I'm gonna do something that might get me killed again. Um, no, give me the game. There you go. Apparently it was a movie. Have Tom Cruise's Oblivion call back to... I don't care, man. There we go. Here we go, guys. Just so we have everything in every tier as well. There we go. Wonderful. I don't think Oblivion's a good game! I actually... Don't think it's a good game. I don't think it's that good. I don't think it's that good. <laughs> um, at least in Oblivion you actually hit. In Skyrim you can hit stuff. <laughs> Skill issue. So true. The combat system Morrowind was designed for maniacs. Yeah. You can hit things. Just have to get good. No skill issue. I avoided the game. Haha. <laughs> good thing I got hit with ads when you said Oblivion sucked. Oh, okay. Do you disagree? Oblivion is overrated. I agree, Chuck Daniels. I don't like Oblivion very much. I don't think it's that good. Oblivion is awesome. Fair enough, Doc. Fair enough. I think... I think they... I don't know. It, to me, it's very clunky, and it doesn't have as enough... It doesn't have as much direction as Skyrim does. Right? I don't know. This is just how I feel. It's been, Again, it's been like a decade plus since I, pl I played Oblivion. So maybe my opinion would change if I picked it up today. Maybe I'd hate it even more. Who knows? <laughs> Oblivion is a great game. Just looks. It just looks like to total dog shit. Yeah, yeah. See, I'm not thinking like necessarily like it's just what it looks like. Oblivion looks terrible though. Yeah. I'm not just thinking like, what it, like how it looks visually. I mean like even playing it. I don't like it as much as Skyrim. Guess I look like dog shit too because I started a, a stand by Oblivion being cool. Fair enough. I think it's a bit unfair that I put in the D tier. I think I just wanted to put a game um, in in D tier. Um, God damn it. <laughs> Part of me really wants to put FF15 below. Um, It's probably more accurate to put an Oblivion in, in a B tier, I guess. It's probably more accurate. It's a good game that people like, right? I think I think that is fair, bro. I think that is fair. Um, no, it's not. Huh? What? <laughs> what is not? What is not, dog? I think it's much fairer to put Oblivion in B. It's a good game that people like. You put it where you deem fit. Yeah, but this is okay, guys. This is in large part my opinion, but also it's supposed to be your guys's, uh, you know, uh, opinions. My opinions can be swayed one way or the one or one way or another. Like, if a large group of people suddenly came in and was like, Oi, FF15 is the greatest game ever, then I'll be like, okay, maybe FF15 should be a little higher, you know? Um, the only thing that separates A tier from S tier is, like, like my own personal feelings. That's the main thing. I care about S tier. S tier, I will I will have swing votes on, personally. Your list pair, you put, put it where you want, and we'll drag you accordingly. Yeah, that's kind of what I mean, dog, yeah. Oblivion holds over all the terrible RPG me mechanics from uh, Morrowind minus the combat. Eh, fair enough. Fair enough, Chuck Daniel. I don't think it's very good. Like, I will be honest. Like, I don't particularly like Oblivion myself. Um, especially when compared to... I... I, I, I did not finish that train of thought because... This, this I don't care. This I don't care, actually. I don't... Get ready for me to be very, very angry at this. There you go. Well, at three. C tier. Well, at three. It goes in the C tier. It goes in the C tier. It is a game. It is a video game. Do we, uh... How, how do we, how... But F looks at say psych. How do we feel about that one, guys? How do we feel about me putting uh, Fallout Three in uh, in C tier? I think Oblivion is actually better. You know what? I I dislike Oblivion less than I dislike Fallout Three. 
when I compare Oblivion to Skyrim, or when I can, like, I, I, when I compare Fallout 3 to New Vegas, like, it hurts more, you know what I mean, thinking, New Vegas fans when the other Fallout games are slightly different, it's not slightly different, it's like, it, it has the shittest story, it has the shittest slow opening stuck in the vault, taking a million years to create your character, being forced to have a dad, being forced to have grown up in this vault, like, being railroaded to do this story, like, what if I don't care about my dad, I don't want to find him, and this is all problems that are also in Fallout 4, yada yada, but, like, I fucking, what does Fallout 3 has that's good? It has a good world to explore. Yeah, wow, yippee, every fucking modern open world action RPG has a good world to explore. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> I'm very strong. I'm very strong about Fallout 3. I, I feel like Three Dog is going to come to your house and beat the mail out of you. So true. Oh, the story. Yes, Chuck Daniels, you idiot. The DLCs are good too. Oh, the, for for Fallout 3? I mean, Mothership Zeta sucks ass, but sure. Sure. <laughs> Except Zeta. There we go. Okay, I'm glad I'm glad we could agree on that. Um Okay. I've calmed down. I'm now thinking more rationally. Gun to my head, mailman, you must stream either Oblivion tomorrow or Fallout 3 tomorrow. I would rather pick Fallout 3. So there we go. That's going to be a swing vote right there, actually. I would rather stream Fallout 3 than Oblivion. Oh, God. No, that's bad. Don't do that. Um, That's all. That's all I can compromise. That it's, either, it's either you make me like Oblivion more than Fallout 3, or you make me like Fallout 3 more than Oblivion. That is, that is, that is it. It will not be, it will be not be, it will not be shaken any more than that, I think. I like Fallout 3 gives you a backstory because I hate generic avatar characters. The whole point of why New Vegas is so good is because you are creating your character. It can be, a, it's role playing. It's literal, real role playing because you can make it have whatever backstory you want. Any sort of relationship to your parents or family or friends or, you know, maybe none of that matters because you got shot in the head and forget everything. Like, that's what I love about New Vegas. It's it's you. It's who you want it to be, who you want to play as. And, for, like, an RPG shouldn't be railroaded, Chuck Daniels. Like, this is why you just don't like RPGs. But inherently, an RPG should not be, you know, railroady. Like, it depends. It depends, right? Like, like Final Fantasy is, like, very different. But, like, I like creating. It's not generic. Like, New Vegas, you play as the character that you want to be. Every game is that if you just use your imagination. That's insane, Chuck Daniels. You're not just some douche from a vault like literally every single level. Of <laughs> oh, yeah, true. Yeah, that's what's good about New Vegas is you're not from a vault, which is awesome. To be fair, you could technically, even then worse, you could argue that you're from a vault, maybe. Like, you could make up some fake lore like, I'm from Vault 69. Oh, no, that's not true. Um... Vault 69 is canon, and uh, it everyone died because it was one man and 999 women, and they died because the population just died out. And then Vault uh, 68 was way worse. That was 999 men and one woman. And, oh, oh boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm happy to put Fallout 3 in B tier and Oblivion in C tier. I feel like that's more in line with my emotions. Uh, you only dude from Vault, you only dude from Vault 69 lives on there. Yeah, imagine, imagine that he just killed all the women. He's like, no, I don't actually want any bitches. Yeah, imagine that. Imagine if the one guy in Vault 69 is gay. Like, what, what if he's just like, no, I don't want this, man. I should not be forced to continue on the human race. She must have been exhausted. Oh, 68, 68, the one girl from 68 is exhausted. Yeah, hilarious, so funny. It'd probably be like a whole, like, macho man, everybody beating each other up kind of nonsense in 68 as well, you know? Um, now, Fallout 4, for as much... Th now, this is going to surprise Chuck Daniels. I'm not surprised if this is... Like, he's like, what the fuck? Who, who, did you, who replaced the mailman? This is a fake mailman. This is a fake mailman. We need to, we need to find him, and, and, and we need to find the real one. Well, that boy's easy, yeah, I agree. I agree. 
I agree. It is it is a good game. I will never disagree with the fact that Fallout 4 is a good video game. It is just not a good Fallout, for, Fallout game and it's not a good RPG. Finally, something for D tier. <laughs> Easy A+. Plus. I like how wildly different. Wait, so words. Are you saying you love Fallout 3 but you hate Fallout 4? 4 literally can't be better than 3. I disagree strongly. I think 4 is way better than 3. 4 is very much better than 3. It's like Skyrim with guns. So true, Jack Daniels. That's Far Cry 3. <laughs> D is nuts. Because it's the same shit story, but it's way better gameplay, and I think a way better open world. I enjoy exploring Boston more than I do Washington. I'll be honest. That's just a personal preference. Um... And for some reason in my head, I like the, I, I slightly like the shitty, I like the shitty story of Fallout 4 a little bit more than the shitty story of Fallout 3. Also, by the way, I forgot to mention in Fallout 3, the mor the, mor the morality system is so stupid, the karma system. It's like, people go, oh wow, it's so morally grey. Yeah, bro, it's so morally grey. Should I like launch, should I blow up this nuke and kill a bunch of innocent people in this town? Wow, that's so moral, guys. What a moral conundrum. Let me ponder upon if blowing this nuke up will kill and killing everybody. If that's a morally good or bad thing to do. I fucking hate that so much. You know, it's just generic, like, e like good versus, e like, good evil choices. I, I want, I want a bit in the middle. And that's why I love New Vegas. Um, F Fallout 4 is the prom night dumpster baby of Fallout 3 in Minecraft. Fallout 4 is probably my favorite uh, FPS. That's a very interesting thing to say, Chuck Daniels. Sorry, words, you outnumbered here. Well, 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 his opinion is still valid, but I like Fallout 4 more than 3. I don't like 3. I I don't know why. I feel like at least with 4, I could see Bethesda getting better, but not by much. It it's funny how, like... Bethesda improved in ways to their previous game, Fallout 3, but they all, but when you compare them to Fallout in Vegas, they just went downhill. Like, they were just nowhere near as good. To be fair, most morality systems are like that. Yeah, and I hate that joke, Daniels. Metro, ooh, I, which I haven't played, but I hear Metro is really, really good. Um, uh, Diablo 2. So, what's, I never played Diablo 2, but I'm happy to put that in A tier, I think. Because I, I hear it's really good. And I hear a lot of people really like Diablo 2. Diablo 2. Ba -ba -ba. Um, there we go. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Done. The story is ass. The writing is ass. Even worse. The building system is literally pushed onto you if you want to finish the story at all. I 100% agree that it sucks that they force you to, like, build build stuff, but I think inherently, like, the building system is good, just not in that, that it's a Fallout game. But that's why I love it, though. Like, it's a good system, it's just in a Fallout game. Like, like if you, okay, if Fallout 4 wasn't called Fallout 4, I think more people would enjoy it as a video game, because it would be a better video game, you know what I mean? It, it sucks that it's called Fallout, it sucks that they made it, a, yeah. I enjoy Fallout 4 more than 3. Like, I don't know why that is very contentious. Because I think 3... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why I don't like 3 as much. I don't know. I don't know how to put it into words. I, I was very... I was hyped. Like, for, I was alive and functioning as a child when Fallout 4, w w like, came out. So maybe it has to do with that, where it's like I was perceiving the video game coming out, but I was still, like, a child that did not have access to internet and, and a PC when, like, New Vegas and 3 came out, so I was, I didn't, like, f like, those were the games that got me into it, so I didn't, like, follow them, and was like, yeah, they're coming out, like, you know what I mean? Um, I'd play 76 over 4 at this point. That's a very, that is a very hot take words, fair enough, fair enough, each to their own. You forgot Fallout 1 and 2 and 76, oh boy. On a pure gameplay basis, 4 is the best one. Well, yes, I suppose. It does play the best. I will agree with that, Fallout 4 does play the best. Sends a nuke your way. Okay, so we we are not doing Brotherhood and Tactics, I will disagree. I will disagree that we do Brotherhood and Tactics. Fallout 1. Fallout 1 is an A tier. Bam. 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 We are nearly out of the A rank. Fallout 2 is an S tier. Bam. 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 Yo. Done. Clio. And then... Ah, uh, 76. 
Full at 76. Full at 76, huh? Very interesting game, that one. Everyone loves Full Hat 76, don't they? There we go. We need something in D tier. I actually probably would put it lower. Maybe Bobsy, we can go up. Oh, God. No, don't spin it around. Um, yeah, there you go. Maybe Bobsy goes into D tier and Full Hat 76 goes into E tier. Dun dun dun. Coolio. There we go. How do we feel about that, Full Hat fans? How do we feel about that? Um, and Shelter, Brotherhood, and Seal Tag. I, I just said we aren't doing Brotherhood, Seal, and Tactics. I'm sorry. And not Shelter. Fallout Shelter sucked. I'm okay with the rest of them, though. Fallout Shelter is actually semi-funny, in my opinion. Not an incorrect opinion, was. I actually think Shelter is fine. I'll, but I'm not going to rank it, because it's obviously not a Fallout game. Good thing I'll ignore your opinion of Fallout Shelter. I mean, um, Shelter. Oh, oh, Shitter. <laughs> Fallout Shitter. I mean, Shelter. Yes, that's it. JK, JK. It's shit, but whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, guys, do you disagree with this? Do you disagree with Fallout 1, 2, and 76? Do you disagree? I feel like 3 is the main issue, for, for words anyway. I feel like I don't, I, I genuinely cannot see in any, way you disagree? I think 2, if Fallout 2 is better than 1. I think Fallout 2 is amazing, is an S tier, easy. Fallout 1 in A tier, 76 E tier. Do you like Fallout 76 a bit more than an E tier? Is that the problem, Doc? Because I'm not going to defend 76. I know a lot of people find it fun, but I'm not going to push it up any higher than that. I once had an argument with some KFC enthusiast one time about whether or not Fallout Shelter was literally a Fallout game or not. KFC enthusiast? Nunny? What? Very interesting joke, Dennis. I mean, if 4 wasn't lowered, we have issues. If, I mean, if 4 isn't lowered, we have issues. If 4 isn't lowered. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I, I can see the compromise. I can see the compromise, actually. Yeah, I can see it. I can see it. I can see the compromise. Yep. I agree. You're right. A A tier was a bit too high for Fallout 4. I agree. I agree. Fallout, yep, 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 yep. I see the issue. I see the issue, words. I see the issue. Yep. That's fair. I, Oblivion, and, and wait, actually, let me do this. I do prefer Fallout, I would play Fallout 3 over Oblivion. Um. Okay. I just had a startling realization, guys. Gun to my head, would I rather play Fallout 3 or Fallout 4 tomorrow? Hmm, I, hmm. For streaming purposes, I would rather play Fallout 3 more than Fallout 4. So this is almost making me want to flip them. This is almost making me want to flip them. I think we can have a safe compromise. I think we can have a safe compromise. I do enjoy Fallout 3. No, no, no. Fallout 4 needs to be better. Fallout 4 still needs to be the better game. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this is good. I think I think maybe this is good. Um, two is the best uh, Fallout game. Then we're having issues. Good thing this is in my list of favorite video games. So true. New Vegas has screwed us once again. Why has New Vegas screwed us once again, Chuck Daniels? It is simply it is simply allowing me to um, orient everything on this on this list. Okay, we're not gonna do. I mean, we can do Morrowind. I'd probably just put Morrowind in A tier. Um, I feel like I don't need to do Morrowind. I feel like... Mm. No, not Morrowing. Morrowind. Wind. There we go. Cool. There we go. Um, funny thing, I like the idea of us all targeting our opinions about these games, but yet are having fun with it. Yeah, well, that's, that's what I want people to do. It's just to have a conversation, right? We all find different things interesting, right? For Kingdom Hearts 1 and S. No. How about I don't, Chuck Daniels? How about I don't? There we go. Morrowind. Morrowind is a B tier. <laughs> I think it's good, but I've not played it, so I don't really know. Um, If it makes you feel better, I'll put it higher than, than Fallouts. How about that? 
I, I'm not saying it's I'm not saying it's worse than Diablo one than Fable one. I'm just I don't know, but I'll say it's better than I will say it's better than Fallout three and Fallout four. Okay, there we go. Okay, fine. Morrowind goes into a list. Gets my shotgun. J K. Oh, goes into a list. Oh my god, you're really pushing it for S here. A tier would be good for Morrowind as it hasn't aged the best. Oh, A tier. Wait, you're just saying A tier because it hasn't aged the best. This is insane words and dog. You're just saying that because it's aged badly. Oh, it's not an S tier anymore. It's an A tier. Like, that's insane to me. That it's like, oh, well, it's been a couple years. It's been a few decades. It's not quite one of the greatest video games of all time anymore. It's only an A tier. A tier is the second highest one. <laughs> Eight is the second I is one, you know what I mean? Crazy, crazy, crazy. I think it's good, but I haven't played it. Yes, Chuck Daniels. That's IGN logic. Yes, Chuck Daniels. Yes. This is why I like coming here, lol. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh Kingdom Hearts. Oh boy. Um Kingdom Hearts 1. Would Chuck Daniels be offended if I put that in C tier, man? Boop. Boop. I don't really care about Kingdom Hearts. I don't really care. I don't really care too much. Maybe it's a B? I think maybe it's a B. No, that's too low. That feels too mean for Kingdom Hearts fans. There you go. It can go into it can go into B. Okay. We don't have anything that's crap, guys. We need bad games. Let me go through some bad games, maybe. Um the the song slaps through B tier because theme song. Oh, the song slaps though B tier because theme song. I see. Considering I love Kingdom Hearts one and the only one a hundred percent is uh it's an S tier. I see. I see. I'm happy to put in B tier because you guys liked it so much. Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh boy. Okay. It's an actually good Square uh Square game. Square Enix game. Fair enough. Fair enough. Chuck Daniels. Ah, uh, Sonic. Does Chuck does Chuck Daniels have um. Hot opinions on, um, the Sonic games? I don't think he does. I think he hates Sonic, actually. Don't get me started about Sonic! That goddamn blue hedgehog, I hate that boy. Okay, um, A tier. <laughs> A tier. I think Sonic was fun, I like Sonic. I like Sonic. Sonic is cool. Ape Escape, okay, okay. Ape Escape, um, that's just gonna be a B tier, I'll be honest. Um, I don't have any strong feelings towards it. I, yeah, I did play this, but I, I don't know, I never really cared for it as a child, so. B tier. It should go in A tier, because, uh, it starts with A, and Ape. <laughs> there we go. I hear the new one wasn't very good, am I wrong? I heard the new one wasn't that, wasn't that good. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, all the to all the classic Sonic games, including Mario, suck. Huh, fair enough. Isn't Sonic the restaurant? I obsessed- I obsessed on Ape Escape. Hell yeah. Well, that's good. Um, yeah, I like- obviously my taste is very clear and obvious. I like story-focused video games, so. There's a new one? Yeah, they did like a remake of Ace Ape Escape Words on the Switch, I'm pretty sure. Am I wrong? No, I maybe I'm an idiot. Am I thinking of a different game? I, I think I'm thinking of like Super Monkey Ball, and I think they're the same game in my head. Yeah, I think that I'm thinking that they're the same game in my head. I'm an idiot. Sorry, I was thinking of Super Monkey Ball. Ape Escape and Super Monkey Ball are the same games, right? That Ape Escape is a PlayStation exclusive. Yeah, they're the same game. Chuck Daniels, Ape Escape and Super Mon Super Monkey Ball are the same video game, bro. Right? Yeah, these look exactly the same. This is exactly the- these are the two- Corporate wants you to find the difference between these two images. This man says he likes stories and then put Dragoon on BT- I haven't played Dragoon once! I haven't played Dragoon, okay? So, I don't know, I'm sorry. OG God of War trilogy. Well, I'm happy to put God of War 2018 in like A, maybe even S. Um... Other than that, like 3 goes in A tier as well. 3 is amazing. Um... God of War 3. There we go. Boop. 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 Done. 
Okay, we are we are now reaching the point where we are going over the we have we are breaking the barrier. We are breaking the barrier of the A tier. The A tier, these are all A tier games. Do I think Pokemon is A? Yes. Do I think Abe is A? Yes. Ninja Garden is going down a tier because I haven't played it. Do I think Sly Cooper is an A? You know what? It's actually going down to B. Get wrecked, loser. I'm sorry. You're okay, though. Do I think uh, Super Mario RPG is an A, though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do I think Darkest Dungeon 1 is an A? Yeah. Do I think Dragon Ball is an A? Reluctantly, I do think it is an A. Do I think S 7 is an A? Yes. Do I like Detroit and think it's an A? Yes. Do I think Diablo 2 is an A? Yes. Do I think Fallout 1 is an A? Yes. Do I think Sonic is an A? Yes. Do I think God of War is an A? Yes. God of War 3, specifically. And then we're also we're actually gonna put God of War PS4 in A. I've not played the new one, the um Ragnarok. I've not played Ragnarok, unfortunately, but I I absolutely love 2018. It's gonna go in A. I'm not gonna say three or, or this one is better. I like both. They're both very different, you know? So there we go. Pretty sure Chuck Daniels hates God of War PS4, but that's that's his problem. <laughs> um there we go. Uh, it's got four discs for one game. OG God of War is base. It's fucking giant. God of War, more like God of Boar. So funny, Shock Daniels. You're, you're a comedic genius, buddy. You're so funny. Haha. -ha. Fallout 76, they, Cookie, it's there in E tier. Where it deserves to be. The most I would ever do it is bump it up to a D tier. I don't think it's absolute trash. But F tier, like, an absolute trash game is, like, kind of hard. Agreeing with Shark. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. More like ball. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, yeah. I mean, we're probably going to have to start putting like a B tiers in a C tier, which makes sense as well. Um, Croc is going to B tier. The song was okay, though. Ratchet and Clank? Eh. Dragoon? I'm sorry that it has to be there, but it is. Zelda? Oh, boy. Mm. Zelda should be like in the middle. There you go. Zelda can be in the middle. Um, uh, Donkey Kong can be B. 07. 07. Maybe 07 could get taken down to C. No, I feel like that's not fair. There we go. Fable, B. Yes. Morrowind, B. Yes. Fallout 4. Yes. Fallout 3. Yes. Uh, Kingdom Hearts. Yes. Ape Escape. I'm almost tempted to put Ape Escape in C tier, but I would, people would not like that. So B, Ninja Garden B, Sly Cooper B. Okay, we're making some room. We're making some room. Zelda has gone down to B, B slash C. Sorry, Breath of the Wild fans. Assassin's Creed. Oh boy, can I do two? Two is my personal favorite, so I'm gonna bring out for, for Assassin's Creed two. Um, I. I A said C or D for, uh, oh, you said C or D for 007 anyways. Ah, oh, there you go. Maybe we'll just move it down to C then. That sounds fine by me. Oh, God. No, no, no. Stop it. God damn it. There we go. Cool, we go. There we go. No, 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 I want this to go higher. God damn it. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, okay, uh, Assassin's Creed 2 is my personal favorite. I know a lot of people like um, Brotherhood as well. Who wants? There we go. Assassin's Creed 2. We're going to put that in A. I think it's a very good fun game. I think, like, you know... Mm, like, Brotherhood and Revelations is good, but, like, nearly every other game kind of just goes downhill after two, right? I don't think three is very good. Full Black Fat Flat... Oh, God, that was a Freudian slip. Uh, Black Flag was, like, interesting. It was a, like, cool, like, concept, but, you know, it's just... Not very... I don't know. It's weird. I think it's too much of an open world. It runs into the... Uh, what, what's the, the game developer name? What, what uh, Ubisoft. It's the Ubisoft problem of, like, big open worlds where there's, like, nothing to do. Or it's just, like, collect-a-thon, you know what I mean? Um. 
Shock Fu for the SNES? I don't even know what this game is, Cookie, but okay, I'll look it up. It's nostalgia for the game that's great. I'm trapping up a 64 controller and using it for a FPS shooter nowadays. It doesn't feel right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three of my favorite Assassin's Creed. Fair enough, Chuck Daniels. Well, that's good to know that three is getting some love around here because I don't ever really hear many people talk about it. If you want, if you want a bad controversial game, Sonic 06. Ooh, ooh. What is Shaq Fu? So I read the. Okay, I think I read it before. Wrong before. Yeah. So Shaq Fu. What the heck? This is insane. Why does this game exist? This is crazy. Like, you, you play as Shaquille O'Neal, and it's like a fighting game? What the heck, man? This is an S tier. <laughs> this is an S tier. That's crazy. You know what I do want to play is uh, uh, the Charles Barkley uh, JRPG. Shut up and jam Gaiden. That game looks awesome. <laughs> uh, Shark Fu is, is F. Oh no, really? Chuck Daniels doesn't like Shark Fu? Oh, okay, fair enough. Oh no, no. Control Z. Um, okay. Oh, I did not get. Okay. Uh, there we go. Um, there we go. Nice, nice, nice. F T, you say. I guess if we want to get some bad games on the list, we'll we'll do Shaq Fu and we'll do um Sonic 06. I feel like it's not um not controversial for uh, Sonic 06 and S T. Yeah, but the game we got isn't. Sonic 06 would be great if it worked. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly, exactly. Okay, Sonic 06. There we go. Adds one of five. No. Um, no, oh wait. Good to wait, good to wait, good to wait, because I can take a break. I can take a little, little water break. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Howdy. <laughs> Howdy, Sleepy. Hello, Sleepy. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, that's right, you, you're, you're subbed, so you can actually, like, see what's happening during the ad break. Oh, God. American-born Chinese looks lit, guys. What is that? What the hell is that, words? Um, yeah, so today's stream, Sleepy, we're doing a video game tier list. We are ranking video games. <clears throat> I feel like you would want me to bump up Fallout 4 to, to an A tier, but unfortunately, the majority has spoken already. <laughs> There we go. Cool, cool, cool. <clears throat> um, add 17 seconds. Cool. I just woke up from a nap, so missed a lot. It's all good, sleepy. No worries. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. Yeah, not much is happening here. This is just a chill, relaxing, just chatting stream. And, uh, yeah, we are ranking video games. Everybody's giving me recommendations. Also, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is in between B and C. <laughs> Very odd game. Back, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Where were we up to? We are up to Sonic 06, which is controversially very bad. There we go. Bam. Wonderful. Coolio. Done. Nice. Hell yes. Wonderful, wonderful. Everything is looking good. I do think this is very heavy-sided. There is not enough bad video games here. <laughs> um, unfortunately. But that means, it means we are all men and women of culture, right, guys? It means, it means we all only play good video games. Surely. 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 We've never played a single video, bad video game in our life. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, yeah. It's looking great. I'm very happy with my S tier. My S tier, I do feel very strongly about all those games, which I'm very happy about. Uh, Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sheep is a... Birth by Sleep is a bad one. Uh, do, does everyone agree with what Chuck Daniel said? I'm going to assume it's legit, though. Um, boop. 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 
this. Why does it have an 8 out of 10, Chuck Daniels? Why do people like this video game? Huh? Why does everybody give it? It's nearly a 9 out of 10. It's a controversial opinion. Yeah, okay. I don't know. I don't trust that opinion then. It seems like a lot of people like this one, Chuck Daniels. I was about to put it in F tier along with Sonic 06 and Superman 64. Forspoken? Uh, let me look up what Forspoken is so I can quickly remind myself, but I don't- I do not recall it myself. Um, I mean, I've played games I think are bad, but I'm- I'm sure I'd get flack for some of them. Oh, okay. You- you play- you play some games that people think are good, I get you. True Kingdom Hearts fans agree with me. Whatever you say, Chuck Daniels. Forspoken. 2023 action role-playing game. It was released this year. It has very bad reviews. How come I didn't... I don't see any Final Fantasy games. Uh, FF7 is here in A tier, right? There it is. FF7 is here. And what, there are two... Fi yeah, we also have FF15 down here, Sleepy, in C tier. It is... Oh, I feel like that's also... I feel like FF15 is also like a Zelda thing where it's like it is in the middle of the tier lists. I don't know. I don't know. Ba -ba -ba, there we go. Cool. You can tell that that's Oblivion down there, right, guys? Surely. Surely, surely, surely. I just don't want to. Yeah, you can tell that's Oblivion. Very good. Very good, very good, very good. Um, the pigs are so small, I miss them, lol. It's all good, sorry. Yeah, I can't really do much. I can't, like, make it any bigger, I don't think, unfortunately. Like, Mass Effect, I'd put in D, F tier, a territory. Okay, well, yeah, that's definitely where you we would disagree with. <laughs> very much disagree on that. Oof. Um, Forspoken. I've not heard anything about this game. This actually does look really bad. I don't, like... Yeah. It came out, like, a couple months back. Um, Mass Effect 2 especially, well, it's is, like, uh, amazing. Like, it's absolutely, absolutely phenomenal. But I get why some people can't get, like, invested into, like... Like, like I'm surprised that you're a big Fallout fan, but you don't like Mass Effect. Because Mass Effect is very similar, in my opinion, to, like, Fallout world building. And, like, moral, moral, uh quandaries and i don't know and, and, and like the crew everybody in the crew is just like so well written it's amazing uh, da, da, da. dragon age that is a good one sleepy i played mass effect for 10 minutes and got bored exactly you guys don't have like the time commitment well i'm not no, i'm not saying you guys like words i mean chuck daniel specifically does not have the time commitment to to story focus games um maybe for spoken is what why is my it's like 12.30 a.m. What are they, like, popping off about? I think they're watching fucking memes. They're going, Shoot, oh, yeah. I don't know what they're on about. I'm like, oh, oh my god, my roommates. They're just... I don't know. Um, Okay, Dragon Age. Da -da -da, da -da -da. Um, uh, Dragon Age is quite good. I I've only really played, like, Origins, the first one. Um... It's alright. I don't think it's better than Mass Effect. You know what I mean? It's kind of like... It's a nothing. Um, B, I guess? B? B? Because, like, if I would put Mass Effect in A, then I guess I would put Dragon Age in Orange. In, in, uh, in B. Okay, how about we flip it? Let's name our least favorite, most hated games. Hell yeah, that's what I want, Cookie. That's what I want to see. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I've been waiting for. Nope. The playstyle is kind of jank. Third person is lame. Switch wheels are lame. Just lots of things I don't like. Fair enough. I, I think... In most other games, I wouldn't like the the speech wheel, but, like, I feel like Mass Effect does it well. Especially when you get into Mass Effect 2 and Renegon and Power... Uh, sorry, Renegon. Oh, my God. I literally just merged the two together. Um, Paragon and Renegade aren't as clear-cut good and evil as it was in the first game. In the second game, there are bad... Like, there are dumb things to do that are paragon that don't help you and there are good beneficial things that are renegade that can help you if that makes sense like it's it's a lot more you know you gotta think about it a bit more um i also don't mind third person it depends on the game like kotor is third person i think is awesome um i do admit i do agree that like the combat is kind of weird in mass effect but i 
don't really play these games with the combat, so I don't really care too much. Andromeda. Assassin's Creed up there? Yeah, so Assassin's Creed 2 is in A tier. I did 2 specifically just because that's my personal favorite one. Um, but if someone else wants me to put, like, other Mass Effect games on the board, I can as well. Unfortunately, the A tier is, is getting filled, so we just have to be careful, you know what I mean? Um, uh, Mass Effect Andromeda. <clears throat> I don't know what they're going on about. I don't know if you guys can hear them, but I don't... <laughs> I can definitely hear them. Um, Andromeda. Andromeda, there we go. Uh, Andromeda is horrible. Andromeda sucks. Like, as a Mass Effect fan myself, this is going in F tier. I don't care what anyone says. Ma Andromeda in F tier. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. I don't know what this Shaq Fu game is, so maybe I'll move it up. And you know what, guys? You know what? Controversial take. I'm actually going to move 76 up to D. I don't think 76 is... I think it's gotten better, right? Like, I don't think 76 is a good game, but, like... It is, it is not good, but... You know... I think there's still some fun to get to get from it, right? I think you can play Fallout 76 and still have fun. I don't know, like, how many people really enjoy Andromeda, Superman 64, or Sonic 06. And, like, for Spoken, I'm just gonna say it's like, eh, whatever. Um, anybody else okay with play... Anybody else play Quest 64? I don't know, play... play uh, Quest 64, I don't know that. Um, but Mail, have you actually played Andromeda? No, I have not, Chuck Daniels. But, okay, Chuck Daniels. Like... They, okay, at a certain point, when you hear everybody say something is bad, like, Chuck Daniels, do you think heroin is bad? Well, you haven't tried it, so you can't say it's bad until you've tried heroin, Chuck Daniels. You know, just because everybody says heroin is bad for you, doesn't mean, like, you, you're allowed an opinion until you've tried it, Chuck. See, this is what I mean. Like, you cannot try or play or watch something... Because the majority of people have already given their opinion that it is not good or bad, right? Quest 64 is terrible. I actually love that game. This sounds like the kind of kind of argument I would make and get laughed at. I'm just being honest, Chuck Daniels. No, you're you're right. It's true. Um, but I'm very proud of you, Chuck Daniels, because you know what you did? You did Breath of the Wild, and that's that's very good of you. Because you changed your opinion on it. You don't know if I've tried heroin. I, I was speaking directly to Chuck Daniels because I know him personally IRL. But, but I mean, I don't... Yeah, I mean, I would hope not many people here have tried heroin. That's just my safe assumption. But, uh, but if you have, well, uh, you, fair enough. I don't know. Sims 4. I, so, yeah, back in the day, I actually really liked Sims 4. Which is funny because Sims 4 was really bad when it first came out. Um, I think Sims 4 is a safe B. I might put Sims 4 in between B and A. Because I think it's a good, fun game. But there's no substance to it. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm the cringe, like, nerd that's like, well... But it's not Fallout New Vegas where it has a good story with good RPG, good elements, and, you know... And player choice. Sims 4 is cool. It is cool. Why do you have a pirate flag, Chuck Daniels? Why do you have a pirate flag? Like, it, it serves its function as the game it's supposed to be. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't do anything necessarily wrong. Um, no, keep keep going higher. It needs to go higher than God of War. There it is. Wonderful. Like, it, it, it serves its purpose. Sims 4 gets the job done with being the game that it needs to be. I hear a lot of people like, um, like, 2 more or 3 more. I mean, some people play 3. Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Extraction. I don't know any Tom Clancy games except Siege, because I've played a bit of Siege, and I don't like those kind of games, but I played Siege, and I made my team win once. And that was on stream, actually. <laughs> Sims as a series, with the exception of OG SimCity, can be C tier. Fair enough, words. Fair enough. I think 4 is, is fun. My main problem with Sims is, like, the DLC, um, like, uh, like, how they do DLC stuff. Rainbow Six Vegas was pretty good. Fair enough. Um, I don't know any of these, um, I, I, like, I don't know Rainbow Six stuff. Rainbow Six Extraction. Um, I, I, let me look this up. Uh, is this a new game that just came out? Yeah, it came out, like, a year ago. Okay. Is an online multiplayer tactical shooter video game. Okay, but what makes it different than Siege? I played a Rainbow game and accidentally shot my teammate as I had no idea what I was doing. Well, <laughs> fair enough. 
Yeah, that's I feel like that's all of us at some point. <laughs> um I don't know anything about rainbow extraction. Is it better or worse than siege? Is it just siege 2? It feels and looks like it's just siege 2. Am I an idiot? I'm going to put it in C tier cuz I don't know. For anything that I don't know, I put it in C tier. No, Zelda needs to go higher than it though, so it looks nice on the on the image. No, high, high, higher. No, nope, high, high, higher. What? What? How? Uh, there we go. Okay, wonderful. Cool. Um. Hmm. 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 Yeah, that's that's how I feel about like a rainbow game. I don't know. I'm not really into, like, shooters. Like, if someone told me to put Call of, Call of, Call of Duty on here, it's like, okay, wow, six so Modern Warfare 2 could basically be S tier, I guess. Diablo Immortal, because fuck Blizzard. Okay, is that the shitty mobile game, or is it, I mean, it's, it's a shitty Diablo game nonetheless, right? Um, Diablo Immortal. Be oh, God, why is my thing not working? There we go. Diablo Immortal. Yeah, this is the really bad mobile game. Okay. Diablo Immortal, wonderful. The mobile game, yes. Do you guys not have phones? Do you guys not have phones? This doesn't actually have like a clean image for me to like put any like to take. So we get a really crappy image like this. Um, if anything belongs in F tier, it's this. Well, yeah, good thing I'm putting in a nest. And no, no. Why would I ever do that? That's just stupid. There you go. I need to make Andromeda a little bit bigger, I think. There we go. Cool, yeah. There you go. Diablo goes in the F tier. What, you guys don't have phones? Do you guys not have phones? What the heck? Fate go. Oh, sheesh. Chuck Daniels. Oh, boy. That's a, that's a spicy one. That's a spicy one. I think it has a really good story that I've not read. <laughs> has cool characters. Um, It's Fate. It's anime. It's got a lot of waifus in it. Um. Uh. What else needs to be said about Fate Go? Um. Maybe just. Oof. Oh God! The, we've run out of space, guys. We've run out of space. I don't know what to do. Can I like increase the? Hmm. There's not much else I can do. I'd probably just put it in A tier. Okay. So here we go, guys. Fate goes here. You can tell that that's Assassin's Creed 2 right there. Um, just because I'm half asleep and can only think of Animal Crossing's New Horizon. That's a really good fun game. I played a bit of it. I did not play it when it first came out. I wish I did because it felt like it was very fun seeing everybody like play it. Because that was like uh, when the pandemic just started. Animal Crossing's New Horizon. This is also probably an A tier. We have run out of AE stuff. We have run out of A stuff, unfortunately. So, uh, there you go. I hope nobody thinks I'm putting Animal Crossings in, in S tier. S A. It's just, this is the A shuffle. This is the, there's too many things in A. Hollow Knight. So I've not played Hollow Knight. I know, I know, I'm evil. Maybe I should stream Hollow Knight. How many people would watch me play Hollow Knight? Hollow. Hollow Knight. Add to favorites. Maybe I should put that on a poll somewhere. Should the mailman play Hollow Knight? I feel like I would enjoy it. I feel like I do think I would enjoy Hollow Knight. But yeah, I, I've not played it. S tier, by the way. Oh my god. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm not I'm not disagreeing with you, but I've not played it, so it's gonna go into A tier, I think. Because I don't have strong opinions. <laughs> um there we go. No, I did not take a photo of it. Sorry. Hollow Knights. Says he doesn't like platformers, yet wants to play Hollow Knight. Yeah, but it's different, though. It's a modern platformer, buddy. There's a difference. Da -da -da. But, but Chuck Daniels, it's the Dark Souls of platformers, buddy. It's the Dark Souls of platformers. There's a big difference. That's a joke. That's a joke, guys. Please don't. Please don't take me seriously. It's a joke. It's a, it's a joke. There we go. Coolio, coolio. Um, I, okay, so yeah, this is an A tier as well, but we're just kind of like fighting for space, so... Uh, you can tell that that's God of War. There you go. <laughs> it's a very high R. Bloodborne! Oh my god, Bloodborne's an S. 
I didn't even put freaking like uh Dark Souls one here. Oh my god, Blood Bloods S. Twenty two Saints Row. Saints Row. That isn't that one like horrible, disgusting. You'd absolutely love Hollow Knight because you like good writing. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I hear. I hear it has it does it does okay. I don't know. I assume Hollow Knight has a good story, right? That's what I think I've heard. I don't know though. Um, okay, Bloodborne is an S tier. Also, uh, DS1. I could put DS1 here. I can't play Bloodborne. Bloodborne's the easiest one as well. But you do- it is- like, if you're used to Dark Souls, then I understand, because, uh, you have to play very differently in Bloodborne compared to Dark Souls. You have to play a lot more aggressively. Yeah, but we barely have anything C or below. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I know, I agree. Um... Don't worry, don't worry, Cookie. Yeah, I agree. Thank you, thank you for bringing Saints Row 2022 to my attention. I will be putting it on. Do not worry. Uh, here it is. There we go. Because I do want to even out the list. I do want to even out the list somewhat. So, yes. Um, E, I guess? E? What is a D video game? A game that is below average but kind of bad. Sorry, a ga yeah, a game, that's the same thing. A game that is below average. I don't know. Like, nothing on the list, anyway. Yeah, I wouldn't necessarily say. Um, creepy, ambient music and sounds. Oh, I see, you don't like uh, horror stuff, Sleepy, I get you. Very good. Outlast, Monster Hunter World slash Rise. Ooh, I'm not, I, I played a bit of World and it didn't run on my PC. So, Outlast I've not really played recently, I don't think. Um, so, like, I don't, like, I don't remember much. Like, I don't remember if it's, like, a, like, necessarily a good horror game. I mean, I guess it's good, but, like, I, like, I, I prefer survival horror, personally. Um, give me RE4 original or, uh, Silent Hill 2 any day. There you go, you can tell, okay, let's move these out of the way. Outlast here. Oops. These are weird, this is so weird having those there. Um, DS1. No, I don't want to type in Dark Souls 1, god damn it. Okay, we are trekking on through these lists, <laughs> these recommendations. Um, bam, Dark Souls 1. I want to put Dark Souls 1 in S tier with Bloodborne. I think it deserves it. I like it more than 3 and um, 2. Well, 2's easy. 2's easy to say I like it more. Okay, but um, yeah. Um, okay, 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 guys. Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. We gotta, we gotta slow down a little bit with the recommendations. Um, okay, Monster Hunter. Monster Hunter World slash Rise. I'm, I'm happy to put that in like a C, C, B, sorry, B, A kind of thing. Um, there we go. Uh, let's do Rise, because it's the more recent one. Bam. Oh, why do, why does it do some of these weirdly? It's, it doesn't give me like a clean image. Okay, bam, bam. Monster Hunter Rise, very nice, very nice. This is going next to Sims 4. There we go. Very good, very good. Um, okay, and then Stardew Valley, which uh, I played a little bit of. I never really got super into it, but I do think it is a very good game. I do think it is a very good game. Bam. Stardew Valley. Boop. Uh, grab the image. Wonderful. I think it goes exactly next to those other two. Actually, if anything, it might be a little higher. I actually might put it up here. There you go. Um, uh, Rune Factory. What is Rune Factory? Am I dumb and don't know what Rune Factory is? Rune Factory games. Uh, oh, oh, okay. I see. It's like it's like the Stardew, which um wasn't Stardew based off of Harvest Moon. I I've not really I've not really played those those kind of games. Um, Luigi's Mansion though. That is a really good game. A tier. Uh, one or two or anything. The Dragon Age Saga? Is that... Is that different to me just putting Origins? The... The Dragon Age Saga. 
is yeah i've already put origins doc so i think and i've not played like i've only played origins i've not played two or inquisition so i don't know farming game but with an adventure oh i see i see sleepy i see um yeah luigi's mansion i don't care about three let's do one first on the 3ds that game was awesome there we go not everyone like dragon age too low yeah i did hear i did hear where did you rank it uh dragon age origins is here in b tier Right here, right here. I think it's good. I think it's good. I do like Mass Effect a little more, though. Haha, <laughs> I just uninstalled it. Oh, God. Yeah, I, I heard a lot of people don't like 2. I also hear a lot of people don't like um Inquisition as much, though. I, I, heard, I heard it had a lot of, like, um fetch quests. Like, it didn't have good quest design. B tier is fine here. Yeah. Luigi's Mansion is also a B, a B tier thing. How is this above? I don't... There we go. Okay, cool. There we go. Luigi Mansion in the B tier. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. We have Pikmin. I don't really know about Pikmin either. Um, maybe I should put Dragon Age 2 in D tier. I'm happy to do that. Bam, Pikmin. I don't really know about Pikmin either. I'm not really strong on Pikmin, I'll be honest. I never had GameCube, right? I never played a GameCube. I didn't, I didn't have that. We had the 64, and then we had the Wii. We kind of skipped the GameCube. <laughs> so. Uh, I'm going to put Pikmin in C. I'm putting Pikmin in C. I don't really care about it, personally. <laughs> so there we go. And I'm going to put Dragon Age 2 next to Fallout 76. Dragon Age 2. Bam. Bam, bam. Very good. Control V, Control T. Down we go. Very nice. Hell yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Zomboid or something? Oh, Project Zomboid. I, I played that once as well. Can we all agree most fighting games would be in the C to D tier area? Yeah, Chuck Daniels. We would agree with that, wouldn't we? The racing ones too. I can agree, says Doc. And I can agree too, says the mailman. And that's why they're so empty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's actually absolutely true words. That's right. Every most fighting games would be in in C and D. That's yeah, yep, yeah, one hundred percent. Um. Uh, I actually played it lol. They just copy pasted the dungeons, but I did have some. Uh, did have fun with romances uh, on it. Okay, I played it some two Dragon Age two. I was like, oh, it's okay, but I like Origins more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Yep. Yeah, Project Zombie is uh, awesome. That's a banger game. I've not played too much of it. Like I think I've only played like fifty hours or something, but. Project Zomboid. There it is. Easily an A tier though. Like it's it's it's. I think it's one of the best zombie games ever made. I think that's fair to say. Bam. Hello Oz. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome. We are doing a video game tier list, and we have done a lot already. Uh, Zomboid is fighting for space somewhere in the A tier. There it is. This is A tier here. It's just A tier is kind of like going over because there's too many things in A. Ignore it. Ignore it. Uh, Peggle? Is that, is that the, the weird unicorn ball game? Uh, Exceptional fighting games? Killer Instinct? That one is really good. Yeah, only one that comes to mind. The What Remains of Edith Finch? Yeah, yeah, that one's really good. I, I don't think I've played it, though, but I've heard it is really good. Uh, Peggle. Peggle. Yeah, this is the weird unicorn game. Okay. I mean... I mean, it is a video game. <laughs> it's a weird video game. There we go. Um, cool. Goat Simulator. Oh my god. I used to really like that game when I was younger. But it is just kind of dumb, silly fun, right? It's nothing crazy. Um... Where do I put Goat Simulator? Uh, C tier? Goat Simulator is the most C tier game ever. It is fun, sure. There you go. Goat Simulator C tier. Um, Rank Aliens Fine Team Elite or Titanfall 2 yet? No. What is Aliens Fire Team? I've never even heard of that game, Oz. Goat Sim S tier. Uh huh, sure thing, Oz. Candy Crush, screw that game. That's going in the bottom tier. No, no, it'll go in the second bottom tier. Candy Crush. I hate Candy Crush. I hate those those crappy mobile games. There you go. They're just like brain drugs. 
mental drugs. That's all they are. Same thing with like Peggle. Like I hate those. I hate them. I like Bejeweled. Like Bejeweled is okay to some extent, but that's about it. I like mini goats. They are so cute. It's fun. That's what. Fair enough. I, I do agree that Ghost Simulator is a fun, good game, but it's not like chewable. <laughs> it's not chewable. Stardew Valley. We already did Stardew Valley cookie. That's up in A tier. Squished right above there. I know you can't see it. I know this is like, I know this is very hard, <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's here. There's only so much I can zoom in. This is probably like the best view you're gonna get. I hate them. E tier. Fair enough. <laughs> um. Uh, Titanfall two though. That one can go up high on the list. That can go high on the list. Among Us, oh god, Among Us is actually a uh, uh, C tier. I actually don't think it's that bad. Sus Among Us. Here we go, Titanfall 2. I think I even played a little bit of Titanfall 2 and really liked it. Like the, the campaign, the story. Um, It's been a while though. This came down came in like 2014 or something. Uh, like up here, I guess. I don't know. Okay, Coolio. I'm kind of hiding the Fallout title, but you can tell it's Fallout 1 because of the, the uh, power armor. Okay, Among Us. I think I missed Edith Finch, but you know what? Screw Edith Finch. Seven Days to Die. Oh, wait. Really? 2016, huh? My brain does not... Not that fucking old amount. Yeah, I guess it is not that old amount. Um, seven years. I mean, nearly a decade, but yeah, my brain thinks it's older. Maybe I'm thinking of Titanfall 1 came out in 2014 or something. Um, okay, cool. Among Us is a C tier. Mm -hmm. There we go. Bam. Bam, bam, bam. Fall Guys? I never played the Fall Guys. I, I consider it a C tier with Among Us. I never got into the Fall Guys craze. Uh, thankfully. Um, seven Days to Die. I really like Seven Days to Die. I'm going to put that high up somewhere. B, B, between B and A, I think. There we go. There we go. Seven Days to Die, the other really good zombie game. Mainly because it's a crafting game. You, you know, you're just building up a base, pretty much. Yeah, like somewhere around here. There we go. Coolio. Um. Oh god. Oh god. I've forgotten how many games there are. Four guys. Okay. So yeah, we said this. C tier. Um. There you go. I also hate the the mascots in Four Guys. I hate the way they look. I don't know. They just feel fake. They feel artificial. Like they were designed to you know, please children, like, they, they're just like, oh, look at us, we're bright and colourful and playful, I hate it, uh, Valheim, um, what is Valheim, oh, that's, the, oh, this one, I never played Valheim, actually, I never played Valheim, I think there are better games of its genre, I hope that's not a hot take, I think Valheim is, like, C tier, because I think there are better games, also, I made that one way too big, but it's whatever, Valheim, I like, I just, Got a massive image for Valheim. It takes up so much space. Um, TF2. 7k away. What is what is 7k away? What? Oh, for points. You're saving up for your points. Yes, yes, yes. I get you. Uh, TF2. Team Fortress 2. There we go. I never got into these games. I never got into them. Pasta. Yeah, copy pasta. Yes, yes, yes. You don't worry. Do not worry. Uh, Team Fortress 2. Also a C tier. Uh, you'll notice that I don't like multiplayer games very much, because it's true. It's very true. I don't like them. I don't enjoy them. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Um, okay, guys. Unless anybody has any sort of, like, hot takes, like, any, like, last-minute games they want me to put in. Okay, I'll do Portal 1 and 2, since we just... We literally just beat them on stream. Um, get, you guys can, uh, put in your last... This is the last roll call for games right now. Order one and two. Here we go. Let's just do. Let's just grab both of them. 
Cool they are. Bam. Ah, uh, these are amazing. I think I think they're really good. Um, probably B, C, and B. I don't think they necessarily stand the test of time. Hopefully, you can tell that that's for uh Fallout One behind it. Lol. Um, yeah. And like I've not played like Half Life. Like another crazy classic game that I've not played. Um. Yeah. Okay, this is gonna be the roll call. Uh, don't worry, guys. I might stream again in, like, another hour or so. I might do full out. I gotta, like, fix my throat up. My throat is... I've only been talking for, like, two hours, and my throat is, like, actually dead. Um, but, yeah, so uh, I'm gonna take a little bit of a break. I need to check what the fuck is going on with my roommates, because they are, like, popping off, and it's, like, 1 a.m., and I'm, like, worried. <laughs> I'm, I'm worried. I'm, I don't know what they're, what they're on about. Um, but, yeah, we'll probably just do New Vegas. Uh, yeah. I might have to just do New Vegas, I think. I think that's, like, the only thing I'm been playing right now uh but we will be starting metro soon because it, it it looks like it will be winning the vote um on twitter right now the poll it's even between uh, metro 2033 redux and uh black mesa but sleepy does have the swing votes fallout 4 fallout 4 is on the list it's um there in b tier it's right here in b tier do not worry do not worry oz right there Slightly higher than Fallout 3. Me, uh, Doc, and Wurtz argued it quite a bit. So, yeah. But I... Because I, they... Uh, Wurtz specifically didn't like that I liked Fallout 4 more than Fallout 3. Because I don't like Fallout 3. I really do. I think, like, Fallout 4 is a better game. I, do, I think Bethesda did improve a little bit in some ways. Going from Fallout 3 to Fallout 4. Also, gun to my head, I think I'm more likely to stream Fallout 3. Fuck Fallout 3, yeah. That's how I feel. Gun to my head, though, I am more likely to stream Fallout 3 before 4, just because I think it makes more sense to go New Vegas than back to 3, than up to 4. Sigh, says Doc. I know, I know, I know. But, um, I don't think I'm going to raid anybody, because I don't think there's anybody uh I follow who's streaming right now. Unless... Oh, Naito's live, actually. Um, what are they playing? What is Naito playing? Raid channel. That fucking map. So true, so true. Um. Okay, they're playing Monster Hunter World. You guys can go watch Monster Hunter World. That sounds good to me. So there we go. I might be back an hour. I might not be. I always say I might be back, but then I'm not, so. Um, yeah. The damn fucking tunnels. I agree. I 100% agree, Oz. Yeah, those tunnels suck so much. Um, but, 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 uh, so yeah, I hope you all, if I'm not back, I hope you all have a good rest of your day, evening, morning, or night, wherever, whenever the world you are. I've been the mailman, and I am signing out. Goodbye, look after yourselves. Uh, I'm gonna go deal with those fellas, and I might be back. <laughs>